I mean, have you guys ever written fan fiction? Yes. I haven't. I don't write anything. I've written fan fiction before. I'm not oh, yeah, proud of what, it. What universe? Like, you don't have I'm to really talk, get into it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. It's Yakuza. I'm, I'm kind of curious, yeah. It's Yakuza fan fiction, yeah. Oh. I wanted I wanted Majima and Kiryu to kiss really bad. <laughs> that, <I> mean, <laughs> has, that has to happen in the series at some point. There's so He's much like, sexual tension, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's been so many games. They've been in there so often. Like, there has to be some, like accidental kiss where like majima leans in to kiss like a pretty lady okay. and then kiryu slips and falls <laughs> in. <laughs> in each other in the mouth or something like that there is this is the thing it's seven o'clock do i drink this omega monster <laughs> i got the big one I got the, the big the one. bad dragon monster. <laughs> oh my god! But then, if I drink beers, what if I what if I feel a little hungover at work tomorrow? What's worse, hungover or really sleepy? <laughs> For your job, oh. where you spend most time driving, neither one is great. Oh, yeah, and neither time you too. spend it sorting and collecting mail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which I'm tired of getting other people's mail. Can you like do something? <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Please stop doing that, Nick. dude. I do this shit a lot. Like, this is the thing. So people <laughs> no dude, people are like, why is it so hard to know that Philip Beatty lives here? And I'm like, are you serious? I have 3,000 houses with at least, at, at, on average, three different names in there. And I have to remember all of them. Like, you can't cut me some slack that I forgot for one day that uh, that Steven Seagal doesn't live in this place. <laughs> The way that you get them to remember is you go make a scene, Philip. You got to find your mailman, make a scene, make sure it's in front of your mailbox. And every time they pass your mailbox, they'll be like, this motherfucker over here, I better get his shit right because he sucks ass. And then he'll yeah. he'll do it right. I no, I get I get real weird when I see like, because I'll be walking the dog and I'll be like, oh, I'll, I'll just chuck the mail while I'm out. Because our, we have a central box that you have to go to type deal or whatever. And I'll be walking oh, yeah. over there. And I'll see him with like the, the whole thing open up and he's loading it up. And then I'm like, this is awkward because I've just walked around the corner. And he's right there. <laughs> make direct eye contact. He sees me. He sees my dog. Then I turn around and walk. He recoils way. at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> my dog then proceeds to growl and th froth of the mouth. But yeah, I, I turn away. I can't deal with like, hi, can you hand me the mail? I'll just come back later. I, I don't want to do the, the social interaction. Yeah, like, well, people it's ask good for their mail. It's so fucking annoying. The reason why it's so annoying is because it's all sorted. So when you walk up and be like, hey, I live in uh, apartment 733. Can you get me my mail? And I'm going to go, <laughs> oh, well, I'm on 205. But yeah, let me go at the 700 mails forward to find your fucking shit. Okay, good. I'm glad I did the right thing by avoiding interaction. Yeah. Do you have <laughs> on the inside of your box, uh, do you have like your name written in it? Because if yeah. not, okay, well, then there's no excuse. Because <laughs> if your name's written in it, then... No, like we, we have two notes. We have uh, like Beatty for my last name written in there because everyone has the last name Beatty in my house. And then we have another one where we keep getting Samantha Jackson's mail or whatever. We have not Samantha Jackson, like written in another note really big, but we still keep getting our mail delivered there. I would just give up and just throw it away because right. if it's just going to keep getting. This is also the problem is that there's probably a multiple different guys working that route too so maybe one of them remembers but not all four of them you know what i mean like yeah. someone's gonna not know and then it here's a question i have because our my the previous owner of this house had um apparently made pen pals with someone in jail so i keep <laughs> getting mail from someone in jail in like some corrections I think, facility i think you should take it up i think you should just impersonate the uh, the person you know what i mean just be the oh, pen pal now going. yeah, yeah. Oh. like try and learn about who lived there before you threw them oh, like vicariously no. you know <laughs> uh, dude, no idea Dave, you remember it. uh like a couple years ago i was talking to you because i was trying to be a mailman when i first moved to the u.s and i yeah. was like looking for a job uh, i failed the mailman test uh that they make you do online and oh you, you can't do it for another year you have to wait what? an entire year to take the test <laughs> again <laughs> that is insane that's incredible i didn't know that yeah the mail, I, I think i think i skirted that like i got like really close to the end it's hard did you, yeah it's i i did it and i was like this is like not that bad like i feel okay about this and they were like no nah, you failed that shit dude oh, shit. try again literally next year 
That was the whenever I because they don't tell you if you pass. I I had to go to a physical place here in Oklahoma. Oh, did you? We're old school, and so but like they didn't tell me if I passed it or not. So but I left going, oh my god, I have to go find another job. Like I, yeah. there's no fucking way I passed. I did so bad because like you have to like re- you have to memorize so much shit. You don't realize how much memorization goes into it. It's fucking hard. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Apparently, I don't have what it takes. <laughs> Get us out of here. God, get us out of here, Philip, please. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Gaming Together, a cooperative podcast. I'm your host, Philip, and I'm here with my co-partner, Nave. Each pod, we play through a cooperative experience and relate to you, the listener. This game is a crim to look crim of co-op or something better off playing solo. Hey, Nave. Philip, I'm hungover, but we've got guests, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, we do have guests. We have the bright and shiny Dave Jackson. Welcome to the pod. Hey, hey. Uh, good to be back. Thank you, guys. I am ready to uh, call some people assholes. Oh, yes. perfect, because that's what we're doing today. It's been so long since I had you on. Like, do you, What game did we have you on? Was it like Resident Evil or something? Uh, it was Fall a long guys. time ago. I Fall think guys? Fall Guys is the last time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a while ago. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. And also, we have Chris from One Hour, One Decision. Welcome, Chris. Gentlemen, it's uh, good to see you all, see you all again. It, what was funny was I was looking for guests. I got Dave. I was like, I need Dave on because I, literally if the listener wants to know the only reason at this point that I'm finding not not the only reason why I'm finding guests, but the reason why I'm picking them is specifically so that I can put them in battles to the death in AI. I'm like held bent oh, and driven okay. on that. You're collecting them <laughs> yeah. like Pokemon cards. You, you got to build out the gladiator stables. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so when I walked, I got Dave. I needed Dave on the show. It's been so long since you've been on anyways. And then yeah. I was like, okay, who else? And I flipped through the roster, and I was like, we need Chris. And I wrote <laughs> I wrote in one hour. To one, I have a little list of all the yeah. guests I've had so far, the, the, the roster. And I wrote Chris's name as something else. I don't remember. It was like Kevin or something. I don't know what I did. And then I wrote one hour, one decision. <laughs> and so I, for, I didn't know Chris had already been on. And then I saw that, and I was like, who the fuck is this? It was like <laughs> someone that I've never talked to before. So I don't know what I was doing. I must have been listening to a YouTube video or something. And some other name came in. You know when you're talking and typing at the same time and then you start typing what you're saying out loud and you're like, oh, yeah. wait, that's not right. That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> anyway. Well, we are taking a bit of time off this week and just we're going to be talking about some uh, Am I the Assholes. But before we get there, let's just check in with what games we've been playing. Nave, what have you been playing? Well, everybody knows that I'm still playing Infinite Wealth. Uh, I literally just unlocked, I'm like 30, 30 hours in and I just unlocked this island that you get to, which is basically the Animal Crossing minigame. Uh, really? And, it, and I have been playing it for like 13 hours. Like I'm, I'm hard <laughs> stuck on this minigame. I can't leave. Uh, it, it's, it's really good. It's literally just Animal Crossing and uh, Harvest Moon kind of had a baby. And then, like, you... But what's crazy is you know how there's, like, the Pokemon minigame? I don't know how, how much I've said last week, but there's, like, a Pokemon minigame where you go around... Instead of capturing them with Pokeballs, you give them <laughs> contracts and convince them to join you. Are it's they really actual funny. critters, or are they, like, people? They're just people. <laughs> you know how... Because oh, no. every, everyone has this... Because Ichiban is notoriously schizophrenic, and so he sees them all as, like, these crazy like dressed up like characters so yeah. all of the people are just the crazy like there's well, a no. homeless person in a sleeping bag like and he's just in it <laughs> yeah but he looks like a he looks like a worm like a caterpillar yeah. <laughs> in the sleeping bag yeah that's pretty good well of course we know in like a dragon that's how we know that chinese people are weak to electricity right is that how it goes <laughs> yeah what yeah like they, everyone like still has groups. that yeah oh they, they still have it it's so yeah. good but uh, anyway, you can use those Pokemon you catch and put them to work in your island. This was in <laughs> development <laughs> like before Power World. Power World. Yeah, like oh, this is—it's crazy. Dang. Power World was yeah. ripping off. We we were all looking at Pokemon. Power World was ripping off like a dragon. Yeah, like, little did we know. Yeah, How but it's deep really does good. this go? Yeah, I've Do literally the, done nothing. But that has the Pocket though. Circuit returned yet? That's a good question. Or I is don't know Pocket Circuit in Hawaii. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Anyways, but uh, Dave Jackson, um, he also has Infinite Wealth written down, so we can just jump straight to him. Uh, oh, have yeah. you seen Pocket Circuit? I have not seen Pocket Circuit, but I am way behind you in the game. I've only played about 10 hours since it came out. Uh, which, yeah, I've only played about 10 hours in the last week. That's the kind of hold that Yakuza <laughs> has on people when it comes out. Uh, so I'm still in, like, I think I'm still in Chapter 3, uh, I only have three party members right now, 
And uh, I'm just doing a bunch of side quests. I last time I played, I found the sicko snap uh, yes, trolley baby. photography. It was Philip. Did we talk shit. about this yet? No. Is this just okay. like a Dead Rising? Where no, you get points it, by taking photos or what? Well, you get points by taking photos, but it's like explicitly like Pokemon Snap. Like you're on rails <laughs> on this. this uh, so it's this, just like an on rail shooter Pokemon Snap? Yeah, this sightseeing trolley in Hawaii, and you have to take pictures of these uh, perverts that are out in the street, like in their <laughs> underwear, and just like gyrating around or like hanging yeah. from light poles. <laughs> <laughs> doing handstands in windows oh yeah it's God. so and the animations on them are so they're simple but they're very funny even though it's like a very simple just a dude kind of doing a tiny little dance or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Just jigging. they're so funny uh and this is and it's like you you get on this like trolley and there's this old man who's passionate about photo uh photographing these sickos as they call them in the game that's the word they use that's the word yeah and uh yeah so i found that that's been the most recent development in infinite wealth and uh <laughs> should go without saying that i love it it's the best game ever made just from that mini game alone I, it is just shocking how good infinite wealth is like i i don't especially with the games i was playing like surrounding it yeah i don't i don't i don't understand how these guys just have such a such a finger on the pulse of the gaming industry you know, these uh, guys yeah. are is that what that is <laughs> yeah. well this just sounds like a uh, a high budget uh what's a goat simulator or something like that <laughs> yeah what it's, if goat simulator was triple a yeah yeah but it's like uh they they take all these things so they took pokemon snap but like sicko snap is more fun to me than the Wait, most is it really recent called pokemon snap? snap game yeah, yeah that's the game yeah. Yeah. oh my god so good <laughs> so they, they did that joking. and then they took animal crossing but they made it like they made it good apparently because naves played it for 13 hours straight <laughs> yeah. like so like they're taking all these things and like putting their like yakuza parody spin on all these established games but they're doing they're it's good it's not just like bullshit that they threw together in half an hour or something it's incredible because every single yakuza game to my knowledge, I don't remember. I played them all, but like they all run together, uh, especially in the middle. But like o almost every single Yakuza game has their own dedicated, very intricate mini game. That is that yeah. game's <laughs> mini game. And yeah. this, like the Like a Dragon Seven, the first Ichiban game, that one had the confections, the cookie store that you make yeah, an the empire business with. Mini game, yeah. This that it's like all of these mini games could be games by themselves. Like yeah. th that's how insane this franchise is. Every yeah. single time, I always, like, no matter what it's been, I always get very hooked on it. And I have to just complete it and then go into chapter six with two million dollars, two million, two gadillion yen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, in in uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, I, I played that game for like 60 hours. And I think 20 of that was the business mini game. Like, I had to be the best <laughs> yeah. in the business mini game. Did you take the tests and everything, too? I did take all the tests, yeah. I think that's making a return in this game, but I, like I said, I haven't been back to Hawaii since I got stranded on that island. So <laughs> I saw it in the distance. I was like, I think that's a test taking place, but I gotta go back and I gotta go farm my my doko my nuts or whatever the fuck it's called yeah. in that game. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping to play more, but I'm taking my time with this one. It's gonna take me like several months to get through it. I don't want to rush through it, um, and then. Yeah, uh, the other game I've been playing is God Hand. Anyone play God Hand before? No, I've seen I, many videos. It sounds familiar though. Yeah, it's a it's an old PS2 Capcom uh, Clover Studios game. It's a it it's basically like think about Resident Evil Four, and imagine so Resident Evil Four is a third person shooter. Imagine if there was Resident Evil Four, but only melee combat, and that's God Hand. <laughs> It plays the same as the original RE4, but it's all punching and kicking. Uh, and it has this like ridiculous, goofy tone to it. Uh, it is like the least serious game ever made. Um, and as far as like action games go, it's really deep, uh, really satisfying, really customizable action combat system. Like you have like a six hit combo. If you hit square six times, you'll do a six hit combo. But you can like, customize what each step in that combo is with like different moves and stuff it's super oh, cool it's a lot of detail 
Yeah, and uh, you can do a bunch of moves that like kick people into the sun. So <laughs> that, that's great. Is it? Yeah. I, oh, okay. I said it's not serious at all. So like, let me paint a picture for you. Some of the enemies I've fought in the last couple play sessions, uh, I fought a mini version of the Power Rangers twice. Um, I fought a big fat cigar smoking guy whose name is Elvis. And then in the soundtrack, when you're fighting him is this Elvis impersonator vocals going, (laughs) but it's like not an Elvis song that those vocals are in very weird. Uh, I fought the three evil stooges and a uh, luchador mask wearing gorilla. Yeah. I see the pictures (laughs) of the gorilla. Yeah. So that's the kind of game we're talking about here and it fucking rules. Yeah, uh, Seth Syntac made a video on it, Philip. So yeah, I see that. That's the kind of game <laughs> it is. Yeah, so that that's what I got. I've been streaming uh, God Hand, so that's been fun to share that with everybody. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to look into this. I've been really yeah. into emulation lately. Yeah, yeah. Which is really uh, like totally uh, like from your streaming. I saw that you have a YouTube channel, like because you, I think did YouTube just recently do the RSS feed stuff? Yeah, like within the last people. couple months. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I went back as Philip added all the videos. And now that that's happened, I was like, OK, well, now I can go through and like, f- like clean up the channel. We have our playlist of all the places that that I've uh, guested on. Turns out a mm. lot of shows don't put their shit up on YouTube just like we weren't. But then I looked at the Tales from the Backlogs of it. All everything was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And I was like, what? yeah, oh, that was yeah, convenient. I think I set that up maybe three weeks ago now. So, yeah. Yeah, Google is or not Google. Yeah, is it Google? I think they're getting rid of like Google Podcast or something yeah. like that. It's it's and all so getting rolled just into going YouTube. to YouTube. Like all yeah. podcasts from Google Podcasts will be YouTube mm-hmm. based. So it'll just be YouTube podcast now. Which is interesting. Yeah, so bring on those copyright is, strikes <clears throat> for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the ads to be put in just like you need to skip the ad if you want to keep listening to your podcast. Uh, yeah. Oh, interesting. This was the last Shinji Mikami game on Capcom, huh? Is the last Clover Studios game, uh, like after Okami and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, Shinji Mikami directed it. Like I said, it's like when you play it, if you've played the original Resident Evil 4, it feels exactly the same, except you punch and kick instead of shoot guns. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's tight. Have you guys so been I'll- on Twitter lately? No. Yeah, dude. All day, every day. What's up? Oh my God. <laughs> well, this is the thing. So the last two, the, today and yesterday, I was like, man, I'm having a good day. N- absolutely no time on Twitter yesterday. I went and seen Tool. I went and played pinball with my mom. I had took my mom out to an awesome day. We went and walked around downtown and stuff, uh, ate food. We, we, don't, we had a nice day. And then today, I wasn't on Twitter all day, just playing like a dragon, whatever. And then right before we're getting on the podcast, I was like, I should scroll through Twitter and see what's going on. Just in case there's something that I should talk about on the show. And now and the the news right now is that it's 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 it looks like Starfield's gonna end up on PlayStation 5. Yeah, I saw that. And it's just Twitter's in meltdown mode. And now suddenly I'm not having a good day anymore that I'm scrolling <laughs> through all of this. Wonder if there's I mean, a correlation. Were we not expecting it to come to PlayStation 5? So I I shared a tweet from Aaron what is it Aaron Greenberg I think where he like two years a year ago or two years ago he flat out was like this game is exclusive to Xbox it is not coming to other consoles and then now I went back I'm like is that real and then I I looked it up <laughs> and there it was I found it and I'm like oh it is real this makes me angry <laughs> like, this, like, uh, like yeah. I normally am like yeah everyone should be playing the games but it's like dude. What's going on with Microsoft's internal communications? Dave Dave knows I'm incredibly critical of PlayStation, so I got to slap at <laughs> fucking Xbox whenever they do the shit that makes me mad too. Yeah, And man, is, do these guys... Man, is this making me mad. Yeah, for, I mean, I personally, I don't give a shit. I have no opinion whatsoever, except it's pretty shitty for them to be like, you need to buy an Xbox so you can play Starfield because it'll never be on the yeah. other console that you might have. And then they're like, "Oh, psych! The game's out, the game's been out for two months." Yeah, it's so it's so yeah. annoying. It's the same thing where someone was criticizing me. I don't remember who it was, but um, because I don't think about my ops, I just think about what they say. But they were saying that they're like, <laughs> so "Why?" <stupid. laughs> they were like, "Why? Why did you? Why do you? Uh, why are you going to bat for Microsoft with the layoffs? But you were mad at when Destiny? What is it? Bungie? 
Bungie was laying off people. And I was like, well, specifically that situation, Bungie swore that they weren't going to lay people off. And then they did. That's why I was annoyed because they said one thing and then did a different thing. When the Microsoft thing happened, I was like, oh, I just like whenever you whenever every uh, what is it whenever uh, mergers and acquisitions happen, yeah. there's going to be layoffs. Everybody yeah. most people are aware of that. So I don't like it, but I knew <laughs> that it was going to happen. Meanwhile, I thought the Bungie thing was like, oh, that's really cool that they're keeping their people like that. Like, that's really awesome. And then they're like, actually, no, it reminds me of I know I'm going on right now, but it reminds me of uh, what is that game? Crash Team Racing. Whenever they came out and it was great and everyone gave good reviews. And then a month later, they added microtransactions after all of the good reviews and good news uh, and stuff. No. It's like all I'm very consistent about how I feel about things. I feel like if I could just at least describe how I'm thinking about it, I feel. Yes. Once again, yeah. Twitter bad. I got gotcha. you. Bad. Twitter bad. <laughs> so I'll jump into games I've been playing. Uh, I'm still playing Resident Evil 2. I'm running through Leon A still. I just made it to the sewers and I'm doing like a full clear. Like I have gone like every gun, every unlock. Like I'm doing much better than my clear playthrough, except for some reason, I feel like Leon's playthrough is much harder than Claire's. Like, I don't know if you experience mm-hmm. this, but Claire's, I, I had no issues. I have died multiple times as Leon. That's I, like I, heard. I didn't die once as Claire. I played this recently for the first time and I played Leon a also, and I got fucking destroyed like so many times. Uh-huh. I know. And like, I don't know what's going on with me. I also got destroyed on the Claire B route many, many times too. But like, I did ask people like before I started playing, is there like a Canon first one to play? And people were like, not really, but Leon's is kind of harder. So maybe don't start with that. But I had already started by that point. Cause I asked a question and no one answered me within 30 seconds. So I started. My <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's always how it goes. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I put up a poll. Me. It's like, what game should I play next? And I'm just, I've already know. I don't know why I put this poll up. So I'm just going to start <laughs> playing it anyway. Yeah. It's the illusion of choice. Yeah. I know I asked uh, the group chat like, Hey, which one should I start with? Leon or Claire? Same question. And they put out there, whichever one you're sexually attracted to. I'm like, but I'm already playing Claire's. <laughs> Leon's a hunky boy. He is. Like, it is funny. Like, I don't know. The, the game's so good. Like, I, I'm even looking at the achievement list and thinking I might be, I might go for it. I don't know if there's it's, any like it's achievable, breakable. I yeah, I don't think there's any breakable achievements. Like, there's a couple that are like beat the game without using a healing item but you can do that on the lowest difficulty and i'll let yeah, you, and you can do that with the uh extra content stuff too you can do that with a, an infinite ammo grenade launcher if you want yeah like uh, oh. there's a lot of stuff that you can do in the game in new game plus from what i can tell so honestly i don't really need to 100 percent it in one run but i'm actively doing pretty good oh i'm also like i'm, I'm playing in a japanese as well and it's it's going really well. Like I'm surprised on how well I'm progressing through the game. Nice. Wow. This game is only eight hours to beat. I'd it's, say less. It's, it's eight yeah. hours to beat at one time. I'm well, and also it also, once you know what to do, you could beat it in as little as like three hours. Yeah. Like my you, clear can, run you can run for the, through it. For my first clear run in Japanese, it was like four and a half hours for huh. my Leon run. I'm currently at like five hours, I think, but I'm like, getting every safe in every box yeah whereas i I was just speed running the other one i actually think both of my runs were like seven and a half hours each it was my first time playing and you you guys are are talking about the the remakes remake right yeah but i played the originals like that as well well. okay like if you know what to do yeah like the first game resident evil one is like that as well (laughs) if you know what to do you can be resident evil one in like an hour and 10 minutes Unless you're like, oh. you know, a god, then you can <laughs> really get it down. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, been, that, I've been. Yeah, sorry. What's up? Sorry, I, I was. I was just saying, like, uh, so, someone's been like pestering me to play this game. But so I'm good. Like, uh, see. like scary games. It's on <laughs> Game Pass. Oh yeah, you don't you don't know, like the scary games, dude? Yeah. I get jump scared by uh, Mr. Big Boy. Like every time he comes around the corner, <laughs> like it's because you're not playing with audio, are you? No, no, this audio. Is, like, yeah, when I play with audio, I know it even more because I hear him go boom, boom, boom. 
<laughs> just stomping <laughs> around in the hallways. <laughs> and I have my headphones on and I'm like talking to Jan. I'm like, oh, uh, Mr. Big Boy's around the corner. So I got to be careful. Uh, he's somewhere <laughs> around here. But I'm pretty sure I left him behind me whenever yeah. I went through like the foyer or whatever. So like he's probably just following me. And then I go around the corner yeah. and Leon takes like four seconds to pull his flashlight out and shine uh, it down the hallway. <laughs> and I just yeah. see this guy going, bruh, 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 just like walking down the hallway. I mean, I'm like, ah, oh God, no. I think the audio is pretty good in that too, because I'm pretty sure if you're like downstairs, you can tell he's above you. Oh yeah. You have it like feels very on. directional. Yeah. It's, it's some really good, good stuff. And I'm like in the safe room and I'm like, he doesn't go in safe rooms. I don't think. At least he never has. Okay. So I'm like in the safe room and I can hear him. And it sounds like he's like right outside the door. It almost sounds like you can hear <laughs> breathing too. You just hear the footsteps yes. like boom, boom. And I'm like, I'll just wait a second. And then I wait a second. I still think I hear footsteps. I walk out there and there's just no one there. I'm like, oh, I was just scaring myself. That's, yeah. that's kind of scary. But uh, update on my goals. My New Year's resolution was to complete 12 games in Japanese this year, at least one a month. And I finished Dragon Quest Treasures and I collected all seven Dragon Balls and I got the ultimate quest of the Dragon Treasure, the Treasure Give me of the a plot Dragon. Synopsis. OK, so <laughs> uh, Eric and Maya, they are currently working as like servants for Vikings. Like, I don't know if you remember from Eleven, they talk about that in their backstory. Do you know but, they're Vikings because they look like Vikings or could you read well, that? They look like Vikings. <laughs> That's, that's okay. like, have you seen that? Like, yeah, I know what like, they look like. They're like Vikings, but they also have BDSM gear on at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so, oh my God. Okay. So hold on. In the, in infinite wealth on the Island, you can invite people to the, not invite people, but like you get, you're, you're running a resort and people come to the Island and just chill there. Now, one of the people are the BDSM, you know, that BDSM boss fight in, in like a dragon seven, <laughs> <laughs> that guy shows up. And so you can, all, so it's like, all right, I want to do a campfire to bring everyone's mood up. And so at the at night you're just playing ukulele and he's just like yay like he's listening to you play the song at the campfire it's so funny anyway continue okay so the crew says that they have captured uh, two creatures that will lead them to Treasure Island and uh, the 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 children because you play as the children or whatever are like hey this is our chance we're gonna get the the biggest thief score we can. So you go and you release the two creatures and it's a flying pig and flying cat named like the cat is like Miyusha and the kid, the pig is named like Bunto or something like that. What, Anyways, was, so, what were they locked up for? Oh, they were going to be, they were going to use them to find treasure Island. Like they just captured them. Oh, okay. And so Philip they might be you. able to read Japanese. I, I think, <laughs> think oh they might not be lying about it. Yeah, I can do pretty good. What? Not lying about it? Are you kidding me? You know, <laughs> I've never oh. seen you read it in front of me. Oh yeah, you are right. I could just be Google translating everything through. <laughs> <laughs> just have the phone up. Dude, <laughs> there was one quest line where there's a chef slime, and you're trying to get him to join your pirate gang or not pirate gang, your treasure hunter gang. You're like, hey, we need this chef so that we can make food because it's a Japanese RPG, and you always need to make food in Japanese RPGs. So you try to recruit the chef. And he's like, hey, I really want to like, are you familiar with like the pig enemies that are like magic hats on pigs in Dragon <laughs> Quest? Uh, I think I, don't know. I think they called them like ham witches or something. I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking <laughs> nice. about. Actually. Okay. Ham witch Dragon Quest. I, I type in ham witches on images and I'm getting some freaky looking food. Mm. <laughs> Look oh, at yeah. this. Oh my god, look at this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I could put this on the I don't think I can put this on the uh on the thumbnail, but look at this. This is what comes up. Ignore the NSFW in the in the link. Oh yeah. That means nothing. It's very cheesy. Oh boy. Alright, but if you click my link, you'll see what a ham witch looks like. And it is cute. It is oh, a wild yeah. pig with a magic. Yeah, that's hat. Dragon Quest eleven. Yeah. And uh it's like, hey, I wanna make uh food out of this uh, like i couldn't understand what it was asking but it was saying it wanted a ham witch for food and i'm like okay i don't know what you mean by that so i tried like killing a whole <laughs> bunch of these things and seeing if like that's how i completed the quest no i tried stealing them because you have like the thief steal ability it's one of your like core abilities besides killing is you can rob them and then kill them as well <laughs> and if you rob them you'll get different things from them okay but this game is like pokemon where you have a party and what they want you to do 
is to first go like first you have to like rob them and then that will get them like their name tag or whatever then you can go back to your base and recruit them onto your team like pokemon solo fight for you it wanted me to get like steal from it get its name tag go back to base recruit it then bring it back to it so it can butcher it and make food out of it oh and that's what it wanted me to do but i could not understand for a long time i ended up having to just google like google a walkthrough for this quest not even the translation because even when i looked on the translation like this is literally what they're asking they're like i want this for food and i'm like what do you mean you want this for food uh you're like I, it, all the flashcards i studied in japanese didn't yeah. have the word ham witch on it sorry <laughs> yeah. well they don't call them ham witches it's like it's got to be a different pun right yeah it's some kind of other pun type thing gotcha that shit's that's tough uh so i played pokemon silver in korean uh a couple years ago because i speak korean so i was like oh it'd be fun to like get better yeah, at it by playing definitely. pokemon but uh and it was cool but uh pokemon and i assume dragon quest is full of very Puns. specific things that are not useful outside of that game so <laughs> It was a fun experience, but like not the most helpful for like brushing up on language skills. Well, one kanji I did not know before playing this game was uh, treasure and searching. And they say mm-hmm. that both of those words so often, like you are always treasure hunting. You're hunting for yeah. treasure. Everyone's talking about treasure hunting. Every other sentence talks about like when you're hunting for treasure and you get that one really honed in. But Oh, yeah. Uh, quick synopsis for the game. Uh, you make it to what you believe is a series of islands that will lead you to Treasure Island, or it's all Treasure Islands together. I'm not sure. They're like Dragon Islands. Uh, you go to like a magical train station. You form your own like Team Rocket treasure hunting gang made up of all the Pokemon that you keep kidnapping and hiring and stuff. You then have to collect seven Dragon Balls. And then once you collect them all, an evil skeleton pirate shows up and steals them from you. But <laughs> And then you have to get in a big final ultimate Gwyn Lord of Cinders boss battle. And you're supposed to use your stealing abilities to literally pickpocket him mid-fight to steal the Dragon Balls back. Which oh. I thought was really cool. Because usually mm. I hate the thief abilities in RPGs. Like yeah. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but yeah. it's like every Japanese RPG for some reason has a thief with the steal ability. And I'm like, I'm looking at you Final Fantasy. And I never want to use that because it's like, yeah, why would I steal when I could just kill them faster? You know? Yeah. Final Final Fantasy sickos will always say, like, you should always steal from every enemy because you'll get the best weapons and stuff. And I never <laughs> fucking steal. Anything. Never. You just can't be bothered to. Well, I was thinking, so I've been locked into like, I'm like, no, I know that uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth has some really funny enemy names, but they're all in, they're all like English funny names like yeah. i had to go look up a list of them like uh misdemeanor wiener is a security <laughs> guard <laughs> you know and i'm like i don't think that's what it says in japanese but no. dude we i nave i think you and i probably talked about this when we did that tales from the backlog about ishin uh, yeah. but the localizers at rgg are the best the absolute they they best sound, they in sound gaming like really I don't I don't know. They need to be paid more probably. And that's, <laughs> yeah. what's really interesting is when you go on Twitter, uh surprise, there's some negative opinions about stuff on Twitter. But like people do push back on the localizers a lot because they're I think that people think that they go too far into like Americanized like jokes and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know. Like a lot of the stuff that they point out, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have even noticed that. I wouldn't have noticed that joke at all, being like really kind of weird for Majima to say especially yeah. as the games go on but i don't know dojo it, dumbass another fun yeah one. but they they also do a really good job of not americanizing like the stuff that's specific to japan too like they don't you know if they're talking about like some food or some place or like some legend or something like that they don't it's not just donuts. transfer that yeah unless it's actually <laughs> donuts because they have right. that too yeah yeah from the <laughs> from the pokemon anime i remember that yeah, these donuts yeah. are delicious yeah <laughs> You know, uh, another, uh, I have a funny story about, this isn't like any language thing, but I remember when I was a kid, I used to play this SWAT game with my friends, Jamal and Terrell. And there was a, a mission that was like, you have to go turn off the electricity, look for the transparent box or the translucent box. And we didn't know what that word meant. So we could never <laughs> oh get past that part in the game. And Google really wasn't a thing back then. So like you could go to Ask Jeeves. 
but we never thought about doing that. So we were just looking at every box everywhere. We didn't know how to find it. So it was terrible. And then I just have that because when I learned what transparent meant, the, my first thought was like, oh, my God, like my brain went back 15 years. Like, oh, my God, that's how I needed to look for one of these. In that game. My one is always like we always talk about uh, the Elder Scrolls games with how much reading there is and just names of objects and they they give you a, yeah. a mm -hmm. big vocab list. Dude, and a lot I... of things I don't I don't even know how to pronounce <laughs> a lot of the words that I've encountered in the Elder Scrolls and they're not even like fantasy words. It's like is it is it Cirrus Curus the armor that goes on the chest? <laughs> Oh, the curious! I still don't know how to say oh, curious. Like yeah, that's a that's a word that you'll go your entire life. You'll read it in a hundred <laughs> video yeah. games. You'll never say that word out loud in real life. Ever. <laughs> that's the, or like those words that you say a lot, but you've never seen written out. And when you see them, you're like, whoa, that's a, there's a Q <laughs> in there, <laughs> silent Q. Yeah. I remember I told this story probably three times already, but uh Morrowind as a kid taught me the word fatigued because I I kept you get fatigued and you're like what is happening why can't I play anymore so you had to figure it out and then one day I dropped that word during PE class and my teacher was like Did you, what'd you just say <laughs> fatigued you just said you're like, fatigued you yeah. you weirdo I'm just like a first tired. grader yeah. Yeah, a lot of words like that like over encumbered like that's yeah. not a word that you're gonna get on like the average third grade spelling test type stuff. Yeah, that's like a, yeah. that's a deep cut. I'm over encumbered, but I managed to bring all the groceries in in one trip. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm trying to think of another one. Um, another one that popped up a lot was like sanguine. I'm still not even sure what the meaning of sanguine is. Something about blood. Yeah. I yeah. I think blood. I, like relating to blood. Yeah. So there's a lot of fancy words in those games. Treasures was really good. Uh, I'm looking at like uh, what's that game? Persona Three Reloaded just dropped mm -hmm. on Game Pass like yesterday or today or something like that. I'm installing it now. I'm hoping nice. it you can play it in Japanese because you could not play portable in Japanese. It didn't have a Japanese version. That's weird. So, Whoa. Yeah, like even if God, it makes that me seems so like mad. a really hard game to play in Japanese, man. Is it? It's just it's just talking to people <laughs> and then doing That's RPG awesome. elements. That's a lot of talking. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if your goal is to beat 12 games in Japanese, you're going to pick one that's like 100 hours long. Like, <laughs> yeah. play, oh, play 12 one hour games. Yeah, that one take a while. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the first game I beat was Tomb Raider Return Returnal or whatever it was called. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that one was easy. That one was like eight hours of just, there's a theme park ride. You just go, you don't what? need to read. <laughs> yeah. You don't even need to read. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if something's exploding. Let me not go over there. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> And I'm like, when I do understand stuff, it's like her after, you know, nearly exploding, falling in the snow, she stands up and she's like, that was dangerous. And I'm like, that was dangerous. <laughs> she's right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's all I've been playing. Yeah, I've eaten enough time. Chris, what have you been playing? Oh, man, well, outside of me trying to wrangle my kids Fortnite accounts, I've been uh, dealing with or no, I, I completed Sea of Stars. And I got oh, the true ending. Here? Yeah. So I got the true ending and all that stuff. So I was like, nice. holy crap, I actually did that. Um that was that was kind of a that was kind of rough for me because that was a very long it was like a lot of time that I spent on this game. I was mm -hmm. thinking I could beat it over like Christmas or like the holiday break, and I was like, no, like it was it just kept going. Especially yeah. when you had to go and collect all those like Rainbow conches and stuff like that. It was like, oh my god, I have to keep. Don't even get rainbow started. conches in this. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. like Zelda. <sighs> yeah, yeah, dude. And you got to collect like sixty of those motherfuckers. Yeah. And it's like you have to be like certain bosses and like to get to the certain bosses. But like, I felt, I felt uh, accomplished by doing that. But yeah, I mean, now I'm, I'm trying to figure out like what the next kind of longer game I'm gonna continue i might just go back to uh, ah. well yeah I, I was gonna i was gonna say i was gonna i might just go back to kiwami 2 mm. um and finish that off because i i got i put a couple hours into that I'm, i was trying to remember when you guys are talking about like a dragon uh there was a quest it was either in kiwami 2 or in like a dragon where this guy comes and like asks you to help him or no he stops you, he's like oh you're a very beautiful person like can i can this guy take pictures <laughs> of you and he's like, uh, you're like, yeah, I guess. And then like you go to this office and this guy comes comes to you like in just a thong. He's like, I want to take pictures of you. And you're like, what is going on? 
And then like he was like, I'm having second thoughts about this. (laughs) (laughs) So so it was Kiwami. Okay, that's I was like, yeah. um, I did. I forgot if it was one of the if it was that or like a dragon, but um, now it is confirmed. Classic Yakuza. That is. I'm going to be honest. That is just in every one of them. I was going to say (laughs) that exact quest is probably in at least three of them. That's a that's a classic Kiryu situation right there. Okay. (laughs) But yeah, I'm 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 excited to go back to it. Just like the uh, just like the diaper club, which like started oh, yes. in one of them, <laughs> yes, and it was yes. so funny that yeah. they're just like we're putting a diaper club in all of them. <laughs> yeah, let's just do this again. Run it back. It's so oh, good. Man. Yeah. That's probably well. The, they're like as soon as they're like we're getting a new protagonist. Yes, all of them. Oh, they just pull out the the giant <laughs> file filing book of yeah, all the, the sub stories they get to reuse. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then and we see it, and we go, "Yes, this one again." Oh I love oh, it. Sweet. Back. They brought back the gay porn voiceover side quest. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to go back. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Perfect. And at this point, I want to thank our patrons: Berserker, this Ko Cappy, Mister Quang, Insane Cracker, Nick and Knight, Michael Superbacker, and the Intergalactic Pinecone. Thank you for all your support. And dear listener, if you're not in that list, which most of you aren't. I just want to thank you anyways for uh, taking the time to listen to us. You don't have to financially support us. We would appreciate it if you did, but thanks for just tuning in. If you really want to help us out, tell a friend about us and uh, grab their phone and on Spotify or YouTube podcasts or whatever they happen to be listening on, uh, subscribe. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Five stars. Yeah, five stars, like and subscribe, all that, whatever. And then go check out Tales from the Backlog and 1H1D in a top three. I've been on all of those. Go check out those episodes first. Blow them up. Make them their Hell most yeah. popular. You the uh, the rare distinction of being on both Tales from the Backlog and a top three. That's Nave. I want to be on top three again. And I want to top- bring the same just the, the same s- question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just part two. Yeah. And with that, let's take a quick break before we hit the meat. Music plays. Boom, 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 boom. Does anyone need a bathroom break or anything? Does anyone have time constraints? Yep, yeah, all good. Uh, just in an hour, probably have to drop off. <laughs> in an hour? Okay, we can do that. <laughs> hey, we're back. Well, uh, so, hold on. So I, I wanted to tell oh, Dave, no. I, that did, did, blah, blah, blah. did you listen to the the last Battle Royale thing that we did? Because I uh, went from being on the top three, I stole you adding the music in. I stole that. I was like, oh, okay. that was a good... Ever since I, I heard that episode and I heard the music, I was like, damn, that's good. Yeah. Damn, that's good. <laughs> I gotta yeah. find a way to Im- Im- implement music into our show. Yeah, I invented uh, copyright infringement, so I'm glad you took that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, we get hit with that a lot uh, with our listening together. Now that it went over oh, to YouTube, every time, and yeah. I get, I just get emails, and I'm just like, Philip will deal with that. And I just <laughs> yeah, that's that's Philip's department. Yeah. Oh, what was it? We did get that one Google one where they called us out for spreading misinformation again. Yeah, because uh, I was joking about again. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we got it on Spotify, but Spotify kind of got over it, where they don't care about misinformation as much but youtube but yeah, got they sponsored joe rogan they don't give a shit they were like hey this is your strike one pretty much and then, unless you contest it or whatever and i'm like i'm gonna contest it and then like i had to go and fill out a form explaining that it was a joke and that <laughs> it wasn't for real or whatever. and they're uh, like what, oh. you know what's funny is dude i i think we were joking about i think in that same episode we joked about what was it covid but then later what we actually got hit on was like flat earth shit or no, it was 5G. It was 5G shit. <laughs> I was joking we about 5G. All in one episode. Yeah, did dude, you write, we were just doing did a great you write on the uh, the form where you have to like, uh, you know, write out your your formal like, oh, we were actually joking. Just write on there like, look, Nave said this. Like, just don't don't take what he says seriously on the podcast. <laughs> no, I literally just put in like we were doing it as a in some kind of parody manner or something like that. It was a joke. And yeah. they replied back, yo, you're good to go. There are no strikes against your account. And I'm like, OK, good. Thank yeah, you. we That's got a good. community strike for that. Like they, yeah. they, 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 no, they said no. All right. Uh, well, we're back. Am I the asshole? Uh, we didn't play a game this week. It's been busy. Nave was going to rock shows, and I was just not doing anything besides playing Dungeon Queen, Dairy Queen, Dragon Quest. <laughs> That's it. Now, I knew it was a DQ, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna be doing some am I the assholes. Oh so, shit. 
before we start, I forgot I'm supposed to shout out these episodes I was on. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> damn it. All right, do it here, I guess. Yeah, I know. We were supposed to do it before we went to the break, but we got distracted. Uh, let me find the playlist. I was on. Go and check out me on Neon Pocket Dimension, where I talked about the Sony State of Play. I bet I was super positive about that. Uh, <laughs> And I'm also going to be, whenever this episode releases by that time, I'm pretty sure Aaron's Superpod Saga is going to have our episode about the Xbox 360. And I think we will also be on Elder Trolls talking about something. Probably. I don't know. Probably. I think that'll be out as well. All right. And am I the asshole? Uh, Each of us have gone on to my extensive asshole sheet and selected one we like to share. So, Chris, would, we, would you like to lead us off with your selection? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, did you bring okay. your own from home? No. I mean, I'll look through the list here. Oh, he is pulling a loose piece of paper out of his desk. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like a handwritten note. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, would you be insane? Did someone brought their own? Am I the asshole? I keep waiting for it to happen. I, like uh, one of our uh, co-op partners we listen to, like, oh, man, I've been wanting to do Am I the Asshole for so long. <laughs> Because, like, for one, the trolls were, like, super hyped when we first started it. They're like, we gotta be on for that one. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll have you guys on pretty soon. Oh, man. Uh, Chris, do you kinda, need more time? Well, this one kind of hits close to home, but not, not in the sense that... Um, I won't tell your wife. It's okay. Okay. She doesn't listen to the show. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it's just... Uh, it's MIS, well, being so upset about my husband lying about coming to bed. <gasps> and Lincoln. So we can all read together because I'm I'm bad at reading with my ears. Unless you say, "Well, what is this big red stripe?" <laughs> Don't worry about across it. Across the okay, I'm not worrying about it. So I, I you got me. Want me to read it out loud? Uh, hold on. Let's do a quick check, burner account check, to see if this guy is posting on main or not. And it looks like he is. This guy's been posting since 2014, all but he's not user super Reb active. Maciel. Yeah, Reb Maciel. Cool. Oh, uh, but he has a son. His son was born at ten pounds and seven ounces. Oh, <laughs> nice. Hmm. Oh no, it's a lady. I think. Oh, <laughs> and her husband took her name. How uh, forward? Oh, look at that. He's got a. He's got, his top comment is under dog saliva under a microscope on r slash TikTok cringe, and he says. My M I L, I don't know what that means, claims mother in law. Mother in law, yeah. okay. My mother in law claims that dog saliva is incredibly clean to the point of having antibacterial properties. She gets offended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I don't know. What the fuck. I thought that was going to be funny, but it wasn't. <laughs> uh, no. So run. this is Just a main that. account. They are posting on main. So yeah, if you want to read them out, go ahead, Chris. Oh, this is a long one. Um, <clears throat> approximately once or twice a week after dinner and a bit of TV together, my female. Oh, okay. She's female, 29. Husband is male, 32. Asked if I would go to bed so he can play FIFA in the lounge. <laughs> Get I it. usually do. <laughs> <laughs> I usually do, and I think it's important that he has a bit of time for himself. This is not his only time for himself. The problem lies in the fact that he stays up super late until 3 or 4 a.m. He has been up at 5 a.m. for He has to be up at 5 a.m. for work, and we have a baby and toddler, so our sleep is often broken. My husband is always complaining about being tired, and it affects him in the daytime. To encourage him to sleep at a reasonable time, I ask him what time he will come to bed. He will always agree to a midnight 1 a.m. bedtime, which is at, always at least an hour and a half of gaming. He always breaks this, and it is much later. I know I am not his mother or in charge of him, but it's more it more than bothers me, and he doesn't keep his agreement. He's making himself more tired and complaining about it. It is irritating that his words mean nothing, to, and to me, he is consciously lying. This is not a one-off accident, nor is he... Only a little bit late. It's hours. He says he thought I'd be asleep, so I wouldn't notice him coming upstairs. Him coming up the stairs makes me wake up. Uh, the most hurtful thing is that I was married before. My first husband died in a car accident on his way home from a night shift. I was woken traumatically by police pounding on my door, and my worst memory is looking to his side of the bed and him not being there. When I wake in the night, baby, baby slash toddler ensures this, and look at the time realizing my husband hasn't come to bed, I have the same panic feeling. He knows this, and it really upsets me that his games game is more important than my feelings. In my eyes, he's being irresponsible and selfish. He has time to unwind and enjoy gaming, but he takes a piss with it. He should be able to stop and come to bed instead of acting like a teenager. 
He knows how I panic when I wake up and he's not there when he should be. Does this regularly, but does this regularly anyway. Am I the asshole for being so upset? Mm. Mm. You know what I think? I think that she, sh- for Christmas, she should just get him a rock <laughs> ally. I know that's like my that. first thought. I'm like, if only he had the hit uh, device, the PlayStation Portal, so he could <laughs> take his PS5 on the go. I mean, first off, him playing FIFA is like, come on. What a jerk. Flag, number one. Red flags. <laughs> How many broken controllers do they have? Right. Yeah. That's a... Uh, that's wild. Staying up until three or four a.m. when you have to wake up at five for work. Yeah, that Couldn't is like be me. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I, I legit every day since Yakuza's come out, I've gone to bed at least one. It's terrible. My sleep schedule's ruined. That's rough. Like I know when uh, my kids were still infants and whatnot, I would try to stay awake because I knew they were going to wake up. And then, so I was like, okay, I'll be there to at least like kind of coddle them or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, then I, w- I would play some games at night just to kind of keep myself, keep my brain active. I don't know so. why this is in my brain now, but my little sister has a little infant and she brought like a, it's its own, his own, it's a he. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> there, what are those things called where you put them in? It's a prison for babies. Oh, like you a pack and play type a thing? what? A pack I don't and play, or like a like jumper, a little... like a jumper, or no? It literally looks like a pr- a jail cell. No, like yeah, it is like, oh, like yeah, a that's that's little baby cage. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a pack and play. <laughs> pack you can pack play. it up. You can yep. pop them in there and just leave them. You know? Okay, yep. I didn't know that that was the name for it. I've been calling it the baby jail. But uh, so <laughs> <laughs> she put the little so Molly, my dog, loves children. Like loves them. Just wants to lick their face for the rest of her life. And. So to it's, to get the baby away from Molly, they put them in this pack of play. But little did they know that that was the fucking hell in the cell arena match that Molly was always wanting. And she just Jumped jumped in. over the oh, wall God. in there with the baby. And we had to uh, lock her in the closet for the whole time the they were here. No, yes, the baby. <laughs> <laughs> just to keep it safe for Molly. That's pretty good. Anyway. All right, so boiling it down. Uh, uh, dad is staying up way too late. And he's disturbing baby and mom. Wait, he's disturbing baby also? Yeah, uh, he, yeah it said that, uh, where where to go? They quoted, I feel like there's a quote where it, it said, brought that, a, it says, when I wake just, up at night, baby, the baby wakes yeah, her up like, in the middle of the night. Yeah, I think, and yeah, then I feel she like realizes if he's, he's gonna, gonna if he's gonna, if he's already <laughs> awake, that's, that's he one should thing. Be taking like, care of the he's baby. already awake. He, <laughs> he, he should, should go he take should. care of the baby. If you're yeah. gonna be up until 4 a.m. playing FIFA, then, like, yeah. Just go take I, care of the baby. You can't pause online matches, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just put, I can't quit I've out. I've played before with the baby in my hand while I'm playing. I've had that. I've done that. Trying I to mean, I've played, a lo- I played like all of Dragon Quest XI with a baby in my arms. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but you can one hand that game. You know, like yeah. the claw on the controller. Claw <laughs> instead of the... I don't know you, you can one hand FIFA too, right? What are they doing? They're just pushing a ball around. Come on. Yeah. yeah I think the it. bigger issue is that this guy is not good enough to play FIFA with one hand. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It yes. Sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this seems pretty cut and dry. Anyone want to go around like say this guy's an asshole? He should uh, mm-hmm. go to I bed wonder, sooner. I wonder if like, so let's do a compromise. Let's put the P- PlayStation in the bedroom. And see how long until she wants to kick his ass out. <laughs> she can't get any sleep because he is now uh, well, no, pissed even... off that the goalie didn't catch the ball, even though it was clearly a ball that the goalie should have caught. The problem is, though, is that he's staying up too late no matter what. So what she could do, though, is just passive aggressively loiter around while he's playing <laughs> or something like that. Like, like a specter? Yeah, she's sitting on the couch and be like, man, I'm really tired. Just like you know, snoring or something. Yeah. Like that. And she's like, she's just like really uh, obnoxious. Be like, we should go yeah. to bed. Because it starts it starts with uh with him ask like asking her when she's gonna go to bed so that he can play FIFA by himself. And she's just like, Oh, I think I'm actually just gonna like sleep on the couch tonight. Sounds pretty comfy. <laughs> just gonna chill down here. Sounds to me like she's just not respecting his insomnia. This sounds a little ab- ableist. Ableist? Uh, well, I mean, do you have any more defenses for him? Because, like, I'm I, trying I honestly to think. I'm digging don't, deep. <laughs> I don't think there's any more of this. I think it's pretty cut yeah. and dry. Like, this guy's pushing it too far. He doesn't need to stay up till 1 a.m. playing FIFA every night. 
Like, no. seriously, like you can get enough in by 12. You don't need that extra hour. Well, 1, 1 a.m. was the target. He's staying up till 3 or 4. Yeah. Oh, did he say that? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, what a yeah. fucking dumbass. Just go to yeah. bed. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guess if he does have insomnia where he can't sleep without getting a couple chicken dinners in, winning the <laughs> online FIFA tournament, then maybe I guess he needs to do this. But he's got work in the morning. He's got hey, a baby to care for. All his life, bro. Ball is life. That is true. Yeah. In in my defense, your honor, ball is life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And the problem is like I just if you flip this to any other game it doesn't get much better. Well maybe yeah. it does. But like I just think about it, flip it like what what could be relevant? How could this be me? League of Legends? Six. Yeah, League of Legends. Yeah. yeah it's I, of Legends. I'm up until 3 or 4 a.m. playing Dota 2 and <laughs> Dude, you got to I'm not going to stop until I lose. That's got yeah, you got to play. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm good what, at this game. That is another defense. What if he's doing that and he's just he just he doesn't just do lose really until good. like three or four a.m. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't obviously, like it. Obvi- obviously, not the asshole for uh, wanting her husband to not get one hour of sleep per night. Right. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they need there's... that paycheck. They need that paycheck too. And if it's screwing up his work, there is that whole thing about like the trauma that she has. I think she just needs to be more clear about it. She needs to talk to him, get him, yeah. sit him down and be like, listen, this really means a lot to me. And I know it seems stupid and it kind of is a little stupid, but this means <laughs> a lot to me. Everyone yeah. has the thing that they want from, from each other. Right. So, I mean, this is something that yeah. I really care about. And if like, maybe not every week, maybe like twice a week, can you just come to bed with me? Now I, I feel for this. Because I don't know if people can he- people can tell from my ceaseless defense of this guy, but I am this guy. This is me. <laughs> I have this problem, and uh, like in my last relationship, this was an actual serious thing that I had to like. I had to stop playing games all night. Like I really did have to come to bed, and that's just something that you have to communicate with your partner. Because I didn't understand. I genuinely just was like, it seemed dumb, so I just never thought about it. Especially the whole thing where he said, "I she, if she was asleep, he wouldn't, she wouldn't notice that he was still in, out there playing the games." I had that exact thought pattern. I literally thought that, and I realized that I was kind of a dick. So yeah, she's clearly not an asshole for wanting something like this. This is a simple thing to ask. Yeah. Yeah, and Reddit also agrees that uh, she is not the asshole, or like that's a general vote. Yep. So I guess they're mostly pinning on this guy being an asshole, but I think you're on to something, Dave, that he just isn't registering what's going on. Like he doesn't yep. seem to acknowledge yeah. the reality of the situation. All right. Uh, that was pretty yeah. good and dry, I think. Unless anyone's got any uh, more red herrings they want to point out or anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. well, which which year of FIFA is he playing? And is he on the <laughs> battle pass? Because you know that expires. Yeah. This would be, be acceptable. Weekly... <laughs> yeah, if he was playing FIFA 21, unacceptable. But he, if he's playing FIFA 20, yeah, eh, different conversation yeah. here. Everything right. that tw- everything that 21 had, they had to chalk it up to 20. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh my god. 20 <laughs> started it. All right. It looks like Dave is chomping at the bit and you've already linked in yours. <laughs> I did. So, yeah. So let's jump into uh, yours. Uh, what yeah, is burner, this? <laughs> burner account check? Tiny cactus underscore. Uh, not not a burner account from what I can tell. Mm, no, it's the only post. But it looks like there are comments all over. Yeah, the there's place. a bunch of comments. So not a burner account. Um, the <laughs> title is, am I the asshole for changing my own wedding registry? Okay. So, Uh, I will read the post. So while this is post actual wedding, my groom's family still thinks I'm the asshole for this and my family does not. Uh (laughs) Oh, so here it is. My sister-in-law volunteered to help me and my now husband get our wedding registry in order. I was feeling overwhelmed and appreciated the help. Oh, pause. I love how S I L came up again, like something I L. Because I would have yeah. like I would have had to ask the question. Oh, oh here. dude, on on the subreddit, dude, it's everywhere. The, the in laws are always a part of the story. Dude, they're the villains <laughs> oh. most of the time. It, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, sister in law overheard a conversation I had with mother in law, where she mentioned her salad spinner had broken, <laughs> and I jokingly, in italics, jokingly said I would add one to our registry for her. This must have turned on a little light bulb over sister-in-law's head because she later requested that we add a Valve Steam Deck 
to our list. Whoa. Not for us, for her. But she stipulated we could come use it whenever <laughs> we wanted. <laughs> Asterisk. God, I added so it to stupid. the list at the time. Later that evening, I was reviewing the items we had and noticed that the Steam Deck was the priciest item on our registry. <laughs> Like six, seven well, hundred, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like if you got the yeah. one, one terabyte, it's up there. Obviously, yeah. it's the OLED highest <laughs> internal storage, <laughs> special everything. edition with the green yeah. or orange. Man, you gotta if you're gonna play FIFA in bed, you need to have good <laughs> you need the visual OLED. cues. You need yeah. to be able to see what's going on. All right. You need to have those deep blacks in the yes. OLED. Yeah. Um. So let's see, where were we? Oh, so I took it off the list. Figured I would just buy it for her on my own dime. She did not like this. She approached me and asked me if I had removed the game system from the registry, to which I explained what I said above. Yes, but I would gladly buy it for her separately. She freaked out. She was bawling her eyes out and said things like, I never asked for anything, and you don't appreciate me, and it's just one thing. Again, I told her I would buy it for her with my own money, but it simply wasn't good enough. She was appalled I would take it off our list without her permission. She got so upset that we had to call her dad to pick her up and take her home. <laughs> uh, well, how old is she? Did it say? Is she like 12? Uh, like, it says in the comments that she is uh, 21, I think. Oof. So basically 12 backwards. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 21 in the comments. They say sister-in-law is 21. Uh, and then finally, my hubby and my family says she was overreacting, but her family thinks I should have kept it on the list for her as a gift, quote, for all she's done for us, end quote. <laughs> Am I the asshole for taking the Steam Deck off our wedding registry? All right. What has she done for us? Because if she's done no, for no. us. No, no, okay. Hold crucial on. Crucial information. Yeah. For context that we don't have. Well, okay. I so mean, it says that the sister-in-law so volunteered to help with the wedding registry. It didn't say that she helped with anything else. At right. least for Well, it does say that. But first of all, first of all, how hard is it to put together a wedding registry that you need to bring in the entire other side of the family? Right. Like, what do you, what do you do? Are you moving in into support? a mansion and you need to like completely right. do it all yourself? Well, no, because apparently the Steam Deck was the most expensive thing on the list. So they weren't actually asking for that crazy of stuff. Right. 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 Yeah. It's not like, yeah, it's not like someone had to buy them a refrigerator or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, Sounds you know, like a is... classic wedding registry where it's like we need some some plates and some new silverware and a fucking air fryer and yeah. then oh there's a steam deck on there. <laughs> well, I mean, it is kind of traditional if you do have like someone in the family. I don't know how it is for y'all, but if you have someone in the family help you with a wedding and they actually are putting in work, you usually do give them some kind of gift. I don't right. know if you're dropping eight hundred dollars on a steam deck, but you usually get them at least something. To, yeah. like because they they sacrifice their time sure. for something that they're not going to get any return out of they're just a little bit to like say hey i appreciate all this, the stuff you did for the family everything you did for us right so but like for you to slide in like this is exactly what i want from you oh and yeah that's I'm gonna put it in your regist registry is like that's i mean like look it look w at least like me and my family like we 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 when when it's like Christmas time or something, we we say what we want basically. Like if someone wants to go off list and get something because like they know something we would like, that's cool. But we put specific stuff on like Christmas Same. lists and stuff. Yeah, but makes sense. Yeah. This is this is not someone oh. in the close immediate family. This is the sister in law who thinks that she deserves a Steam Deck for helping with a wedding registry. Like if she booked the like the cake and the caterers and the DJ and all that shit for the wedding. Like maybe, but the wedding registry. Yeah. Yeah. You're now just creating a list. I know this is very <laughs> late to slide this in, but I have no idea what is going on. I don't know what a <laughs> wedding registry is. I don't know. Okay. I don't You're know any of this right? stuff. I've never even been to, I don't think I, anyone I've ever even known besides you. You're the only wedding I've ever been to. And I was late to that. <laughs> yeah you also showed up in like straight up like street clothes too yeah not i either. did not i don't have clothes for a wedding i just showed up and you didn't wear I, a I was... single collared shirt instead you're wearing a metallica t-shirt and stained yeah. jeans all right so i looked cool so oh, the way it works is like when you're when you're getting ready for your wedding you use a website a lot of people use uh like you can use target you can use amazon like their websites and you list the stuff that you need like presumably for your new house. So that's why I said like 
plates and silverware and an air fryer and like stuff that you'll use around the house. And that way, when people want to buy you a wedding gift, all they have to do is go to the registry website, yeah. see the stuff that you need and buy it easily. So it's a wish list. Yeah, yeah. It's a wish exactly. list for wedding gifts. But like the thing with the wedding registry is the person getting married is not buying the steam deck. That would be one of the wedding guests buying a steam deck, right. supposing that it's like the married couple that's going to use the steam deck. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not what's happening in this story which is why they were like, oh, wait, it's pretty fucked up to put this on the registry. And so they took it off like later that day. Because it wasn't for them. It was for the sister-in-law. Yeah. yeah. But like someone buying that wouldn't know that when they buy yeah. it. Instead, it's going to be like That's Uncle weird. Jimmy. And uh, five years yeah. down the line, he's going to be like, <laughs> hey, bro, uh, you got that Steam Deck. You want to you want to play some FIFA together? You know, <laughs> Where's that water vapor, <laughs> water vapor patio? Uh, what oh, the thing I got for you? Like yeah. they don't actually know what a steam, what yeah. steam is. <laughs> oh my god! So <laughs> this is good. I, Water I, vapor. I, the patio. reason I picked this one, <laughs> yeah. stupid. The, the reason I picked this one is not because I think there's any real debate over like the actual question. Because obviously, you are not the asshole for taking the Steam Deck off of the registry. It's stupid that you put it on in the first place. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. Yeah, that was a bad move. But. The sister-in-law is the asshole here in the grand scheme of things. The real reason I did this is, would you put a gaming thing on your wedding registry? Yes. No. <laughs> yes, I need a PS5 <laughs> for, for tax reasons, for work. Yeah. For yeah. work. For pod, man. Business expense. For the pod. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was looking for, business expense. I don't know. Of course, you guys, anything? I mean, well, I, you I guys wouldn't. have been married. What, is, what do you think it was the most like? Do you think you had any luxury items for your wedding as a gift that you received? Because I can't think of any. A luxury egg beater. <laughs> so I think we've got a crock pot as our nicest item. Yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff that like yeah. is normally on wedding registries. It'd be like, oh, like you, you want one of those nice Gordon Ramsay frying pans. Like you right. put that on a wedding registry. Maybe someone gets squirrely and buys the expensive thing. But like you're not putting on like a I've never seen a TV on a wedding <laughs> registry, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, but when I got married, we didn't do a wedding registry. We got married in Korea. And uh, instead of doing wedding gifts, people literally give you just fifty dollars cash when they show up to the wedding. They put it in envelopes. Then at the end, you count up the envelopes. You use some of that money to pay for all the food at the wedding. Then you take the rest home. That's how it works over there. So we didn't get gifts. That's what I would do. I would Actually, like in my wedding registry just says money or underwear. <laughs> One of those two. <laughs> nice. But yeah, Chris, did you have any luxury items on your registry? No, I mean, I, I think, I think the, the biggest thing was like a knife set. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, like that. Holy shit. It was like real. Oh, actually, I think our biggest thing was like a coffee maker, actually. Yeah. Like a, a yeah. bun coffee maker. Yeah, like people put like an espresso machine and be like, well, if one of our rich relatives decide they want to do this. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Great yeah. grandma yeah. Edith finally cashed yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, I was I was just like, just that's why I picked this really, because it would be like, would someone put like a, a, a PS5 or a Steam Deck on the, the wedding registry? Like it let's even if both of the people getting married are gamers, like would they do yeah. that? I still don't think they would. Like something, yeah, you you want to buy together as opposed to getting having someone else. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm sure there are people out there that do it. I'm sure some people have, but it it still didn't feel normal. So I almost feel like I've been an asshole. If they did ask for it for them. Like if I was looking at a wedding registry and I saw they put a PS5 on there, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yeah. no <laughs> like, way, you motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. What if the what if the wedding like what if there were ch kids, and it's like this could be for the kids? Would you like a child wedding? No, <laughs> no. Like if you got married and you there were kids in the family, like they oh, were yeah, like right. teenagers, like in there. and you're like a PS5. That would be for the kids, though. Would that make you upset when you? That's thought? a little bit better, but I'd also be like, no. Yeah, <laughs> but then again, like at that point, they probably already have like an established household. See, that's the problem is that registries come from a time whenever like this yeah. is where they're just now moving in together as newlyweds. Yeah. Yeah, so, so they, they have a brand new house they're trying to fill, you know? Yeah. Oh. But in modern times, you live together for five years before you get married, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
if you get married at all. Yep. Yeah. I just have so, this is a whole new world for me. I'm just I'm so out of my depth with this dude, shit. Dude, so much of Am I the Asshole is wedding stuff, uh in-law stuff. It is just crazy the amount of crap they've been there. Weddings draw so much traffic for Am I oh the my, Asshole. I mean, like it, this yep. drama. It's drama all the time. It, yeah, it's stressful. There's a bunch of moving pieces and people every like feel like everybody in the family even like outside of the bride and groom all have opinions about how oh, everything yeah. needs to go. So, yeah. A lot of lot of Final Fantasy 14 on the, on the subreddit too. <laughs> oh, dude, there's a surprising amount of Final Fantasy 14 in the Am I the Yeah, asshole? there's a lot. <laughs> all right. So, uh last round table around here, uh I don't think there's any assholes here besides the sister-in-law with the Steam Deck. She just needs to grow yeah. up a little. Yeah. I think maybe at worst, she should have told her that she was going to change it rather than just changing it without letting her know. Because I also, think that a the, lot of the problem that the but sister she was, was spend having her is own that money. she said exactly. she, yeah, like she was still going to buy it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the other part. Like, okay, so there's a little bit of like, uh, little faux pas by putting it on the list in the first place. But then you're like, oh, you you took it off the list. Like, what's wrong with you? And then then they're like, oh, I'll just buy you one with my own money. And at that point, you go. Oh, okay. That sounds cool. Thank you. That's Probably what I was gonna say though, sooner. is that I think that the I think that a lot of the animosity is coming from the fact that it was changed without them knowing. So like yeah. they probably looked at it and saw it wasn't on there and then was like, What the hell? And she yeah. was in charge of the list too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Okay, so she yeah. definitely saw it then. She probably yeah. threw a couple other things uh on yeah. the slide oh, at the bottom of the, the registry yeah. for her. Phil, do you ever feel index. do you ever feel bad like angry at me whenever you go look at the at the episode and you see I changed the name and you're like, what the fuck? I worked so hard on that name and then you changed it without my Sometimes, knowledge. Sometimes, but also I don't care enough to fight you over it. <laughs> I always but think it's funny because there was like, one episode where you messed up our formatting and uh, you put like you took away a space that's like after a colon or something like that. So it was like colon <laughs> rubbing against the letters. And I'm like, this buffoon, this disgusting oh, no. fool. He has completely mistyped. So I had to go in there and edit it. The, and the, the funny thing mistake is, is uh, the numbers in the description. Where we oh, I, I to, forget the numbers every time. <laughs> yeah, I usually have to go in and fix that. We're like, welcome to episode 47. And then you look at the title and it's actually 48. You're like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he clearly copy pasted this and didn't even think about it. Uh, one thing I think is funny for people who are on Patreon, they see this, but um, uh, our episodes when Philip names them, they always it's always Philip's name, and then you'll get the normal free feed of the episode, and it's a different name. And I just always think it's like preserving history, <laughs> yeah, almost. Yeah. <laughs> like I get to go back and look at what Philip named the thing. <laughs> Long time ago. Anyway, that was some shop talk. Shop this talk. This person's not an asshole. All right, next up is yeah. my pick. Boop. So this one's from Fit Angle sixty nine forty three, and this is a burner account made for one post. Okay. No comments. No comments. <laughs> no, there's comments. Okay. Oh yeah, no, they didn't they comment are... on anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Am I the asshole for making fun of my girlfriend for writing fan fiction <laughs> and claiming it's actually writing? Oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am on this guy's side right away. <laughs> My girlfriend, Abby, 31, and I, 33, have been together for a few months, and this Easter, I was going to introduce her to my family. We haven't moved in together yet. Abby is quite smart. She has a PhD and works in her field. I only have a BA, so you can imagine my surprise when hot and smart woman wanted to date me. Anyway, I What a badass. (laughs) Get it, BA? Oh, right. God. <laughs> oh, dang. Anyway, that, that, that I many layers to that. Oh, my God. Anyway, I digress. Abby's passion is writing, although she's never allowed me to read anything she wrote. She dreams of writing a book and says she's practicing and trying to draft things. One day I was staying over and fell asleep and she went to her office to write. When I woke up, I peered over her shoulder when she was writing and saw names that sounded familiar. I asked her about this, and sure enough, she admitted to writing fan fiction. <gasps> Apparently, Gross. she already wrote 100,000K <laughs> fan fiction. Hold on. What's 100,000K? It's 100,000. 100,000. Okay. What does that mean? But 100,000 fan fiction, what does that mean? I mean 
I have no idea. It's a, it looks like a typo. <laughs> okay. Maybe a hundred thousand words or something. Okay, that could be it. A hundred thousand yeah. words fan fiction, I guess. And is working on her third one. She oh, says, and we could just finish the sentence. It probably would have helped us with that. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, even the sentence still doesn't make sense yeah, to it's me. Kind of she, it's kind of still, it's still bad. Yeah. She wrote a hundred K fan fiction is working on her third one. Her third one, what? Her third one hundred K fan fiction? What? Is a hundred K? Wait, is it forty K? No, is that, that's, like, that's a, that'd be a crazy typo. I don't know. This yeah. is stupid. Hold on, hold on. Let me look up hundred K and see if is that is that and like type a hundred K fan fiction? Okay, hundred K is apparently a a type of work in fan fiction. It's a novel length fan fiction. Oh, a hundred thousand words. So yeah, okay, yeah, we were on the right okay. track. Okay. okay, so she is she's working on her third novel length wow. fan fiction. Her so that is three hundred thousandth word. That's a lot of writing. She says it's writing practice and she loves it. I told her it's cringy and if she was serious about her book, she'd write it by now because she's pretty much already wrote two books. If only they weren't fan fiction. She got silent and told me to leave her alone. When I <laughs> introduced her to my family, I mentioned that she has a PhD. My brother and sister got impressed and asked her about it. Abby tried to tell them, but I interjected and told him not to be so impressed oh. because she wasted her time writing silly fan fiction. So <laughs> I don't know how she even got her doctorate it was meant to be a joke it was meant to be a joke okay guys, i was gonna guys, say it was a joke for the record it was meant to be a joke but abby was angry she called me an asshole she wouldn't talk to me for the rest of the day and asked me to drive her home i tried to come in but she told me she wanted to be alone and write her fan fiction i told her she was childish but left anyway i haven't heard back from her since and i told my sister and my sister agreed with abby i tried to call abby but she texted me with asshole and nothing else. My sister thinks I owe Abby an apology, but I don't think I did anything wrong. And yet Abby is annoyed. Was I really the asshole here? I want to point out before we start talking that the, the pinned comment is a mod saying in bold and giant letters, this thread is now locked due to an excess of <laughs> rule violations. I always Dude. love when you see that in these in these threads. It means that they were bullying the shit out of this guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The next comment is actually really good too. So it has that quote. It quotes from the original post. You can imagine my surprise when hot and smart woman wanted to date me. And they just said, we're surprised too. <laughs> <laughs> so and good. also, I didn't notice this the first time, but he said hot and smart woman. Just one yeah. singular oh, woman. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> the one that he's talking about here. <laughs> yeah. This one. I don't know. You're fumbling the bag, dude. She's got a PhD, man. You gotta, you gotta, Oof. you gotta be nice to him, man. She's gonna be the breadwinner. Yeah, for sure. I, f I feel like that. I mean, yeah, he was trying to do a joke, but like he was trying to like knock her down a peg just to like make himself feel better about himself. Yeah, he Power play. Yeah. yeah, he he apparently does not feel uh, secure about the fact that she has like several layer, several like higher levels of uh, schooling than he does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he had to school her in the streets. Yeah, street, exactly. Street yeah. Justice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it sounds like, I don't know. He sounds like a dick, but yeah. also. Um, As a like dick he, myself. Uh, yeah. Yes, I agree. It takes one to know one. This one <laughs> probably yes. makes one joke about fan fiction not being real and then doubles down on it like six more times. Yeah. I mean, Which I can understand. Do you guys okay, believe so in fan fiction is real, real writing? It's not. Yeah, but it's real uh, writing. Well, I mean, you're right. This is the thing. Right? Still it's good something. practice. What I think about is that it, whenever you're learning how to draw, there's an awesome PewDiePie video that he just recently did. It's a hundred days in a row of him drawing, and a lot of people were upset about. I swear this is relevant. A lot of people were were upset of that he was like using manga as like reference material. Like he was just straight up redrawing the manga panels. But that's genuinely one of the best ways to learn how to draw. And whenever you it's not drawing your own stuff, but you're learning. A, you see what you think looks cool, and you want to recreate that so that right. you can make you put your own spin on that. Um, I think that fan fiction is the same, where you're taking the stuff that isn't yours, and then you're making your own kind of narrative with it, with this established uh, lore and everything. And yeah. then that helps you understand how lore integrates into your uh, into your writing, and then you it helps you write on your own and make up your own lore and try and learn how to how things like bob and weave into each other and i think a lot of people see fan fiction as like why would you waste your time doing something that you don't own this is something that colin moriarty speaks about all the time on sacred symbols 
And he's always saying, like, and not about fan fiction, though. He talks about modding video games. He doesn't understand why people go into Skyrim and make giant mods. Or, like, the, the recreation of Metroid 2, right? Uh, he Someone remade that to look, like, modern, and then they got shut down by Nintendo. Obviously, they did. And he's like, why didn't you just use your expertise to make your own game? But people are doing this because they're passionate and also because it helps them understand why the things that they love are as interesting as they are because they are putting the pieces together uh to recreate that and they are like seeing the fucking matrix because of that you know i would argue that um like when you when you try to write for like hollywood and stuff like that they, there's things called spec scripts where you're when you're trying to write for a show you're writing essentially fan like a potential story for that show so you're doing kind of like oh that's fiction, interesting right? so i never thought about it that way like if you were yeah. to write your own episode and try to get it like picked yeah. up or something. Yeah. So that's, wouldn't that, would that be technically fan fiction then? Because I mean, until it gets published, I'd say, yeah. 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 And so, then it's no longer fan fiction. Then it's just fiction, I yeah. guess. <laughs> 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 so, wait, you're still, t- if it's you're canon. a fan, you know, I guess it depends on if you're a fan or not. No, yeah, we're oh, getting man. lost in words now. <laughs> we're getting lost in words. It's, getting it's too nuanced for me. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I, I mean, and to your point, Nave, like even if you're like le- like if that's what gets you into making your own game, like yeah, it's why like not the, like, the the people who made the Forgotten City they started by yeah, making exactly. a mod for yeah. for Skyrim, like and then yeah. they went on to do that. But like even if you don't, there's everyone always says that games like Skyrim are saved by people making mods. And like yeah. you want to go back and play Fallout One without mods, without the people who've helped fix that game, like. That's valuable things that people are making. Even, you know, <laughs> like Thomas the Tank Engine. That's funny. That that has brought that value to people's lives uh, in Skyrim. So I don't agree with uh, the idea that that's worthless. Uh, and I used to, like, make fun of fan fiction back when, like, my only exposure to fan fiction was like, <laughs> oh, well, I wish that Harry and Ron would kiss in Harry Potter. So I <laughs> oh, my fan God, yeah. About my, it. That's like, peak fan fiction, though. But like, even then, like, I don't give a shit because somebody isn't seeing what they want to see in the story. So they're making it themselves. Like I don't care anymore because it doesn't affect me right. and the people who are making it, it's bringing value to their life. So I don't like, it doesn't, doesn't bother me. And like, sure. Some people are making good fan fiction out there. So could like, you argue that Twitter and like people that are very outspoken about a particular story or whatever, that, that, that then um, the writers actually like succumb to that and like, add that to their show could that be like almost like people forcing their fan fiction into a a story it's definitely happened i can't think of any like specific examples but that has for sure happened before yeah like just getting influenced by your by what's going on around you yeah but like i i think that i don't know i think the reason i've softened on fan fiction in particular is because i didn't understand who it was for before and now i do understand why people make that kind of stuff and that's just like talking about like the shipping fan fiction which this person is writing like entire ass novels with that like probably has like narrative and stuff and it's not just shipping a couple of characters together so to say that that's not real writing is uh is ridiculous and like again like this this dude is fumbling the bag fumbling this situation that he seems to like have accidentally found himself in and he's just fucking it up all right follow up know what you got until it's gone (laughs) i don't know how that song goes Um, (laughs) i think this is real or just possible fan fiction (laughs) yeah there's a lot of fan fiction in here always have to consider that when you're on this subreddit people just come up with situations I'm dude, I'm considering it. The more we do this, the more I'm just like, I want to make up shit and just like fucking throw it <laughs> up there, see if it gets traction. Based yeah. on the errors, like, though, I think this could be real. Like the yeah. random spelling errors, the grammar mistakes. Like, but I he's like got he a bachelor's. Would... He's got to be smart. Why is he making grammatical errors? Oh my god, mm-hmm. it would be funny mm-hmm. uh, if you be funny if he was considering doing this. Like in the future, he was like, <laughs> I'm going to call her out for her. For her fan fiction not being real writing. Let me just test the waters first <laughs> on yeah. subreddit and we'll see how it goes. I mean, have you guys ever written fan fiction? Yes. I haven't. I don't write anything. 
I've written fan fiction before. I'm not oh, yeah, proud of what, it. What universe? Like you don't have I'm to really talk, get into it. Oh, I don't. Know. <laughs> it's I'm, I'm kind of curious. Yeah. It's Yakuza fan fiction. Yeah, oh. I wanted I wanted Majima and Kiryu to kiss really bad. <laughs> that, <I> mean, <laughs> that, has, that has to happen in the series at some point. There's so He's much like, sexual tension, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, like there's been so many games. They've been in there so often. Like there has to be some like accidental kiss where like Majima leans in to kiss like a pretty lady okay. and then Kiryu slips and falls <laughs> in like, <laughs> and each other in the mouth or something like that there is a legit I think this is in Yakuza 0 so you're gonna see this eventually Philip but in Yakuza 0 there's a mechanic called Majima everywhere or is this is this Kiryu Kiwami 1 Kiwami I don't know it's Kiwami 1 it's Kiwami 1 yeah I, I had to walk it back so in Kiwami 1 there's a thing called Majima everywhere. And one of them, he is, there is these cabaret clubs where you go, where guys go, they pay money, they sit down with beautiful women and they just go, it's basically paying for a date. And like these people work there, they're, they're essentially the, 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 the wait, the waitress, but they're also like your date at the same time. Right. And there's one where Majima dresses up. And so you go in there and he's there and I can't remember his name. Do you remember his name, Dave? Majima's cabaret hostess oh. name. Nope, I don't. It's it's so I don't remember either. But <laughs> it's very funny though. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, like I don't remember how that ends either. I don't think they kiss because Kiryu clearly can tell it's Majima, <laughs> but he takes him seriously. He's like, I guess if this is what Majima wants to do now, I guess I'll go on a date with him. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Goromi. Right. His name is Goro Majima, and his host's name is Goromi. That's smooth. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Let me get a picture of him. Uh, so everyone can see. Dave already knows who he looks up, but this is Garomi. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty obvious. The goatee and the eye, patch. the eye patch. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the it's eye so patch. Good. Oh. Yeah. I forgot. I, man, that was a tangent. I really forgot. I had an actual point. <laughs> and uh, sorry. Gone Re- now. Reeling it back. We were talking about fan fiction writing. Yeah, and you wrote. That. Oh, okay. So fan fiction. There, there's this amazing piece of fan fiction. Okay, so everyone knows how I think about The Last of Us too. This vi- the fan fiction's about that, but um, the w- the video is by a YouTube channel called The Closer Look, and the video is called How to Divide a Fan Base: The Last of Us Two, and it's basically half of the video is dissecting why it was so divisive. I I can link it if you guys want to watch it later. It's an it's like two hours long, but I'm not watching that. <laughs> I know, but this is the thing: is that he <laughs> writes he rewrites The Last of Us Two to so that it basically has the same like n- like narrative structure, but it is written just in a different way that is more like, I don't know how to, I don't want to say better because people love the story. People either love it or hate it. But the way that he wrote it actually brought tears to my eyes towards the end. Like I was like, this is good. Like <laughs> what he wrote. Uh, and he just kind of reads it out, you know, but it's a really cool video. Um, you can skip the first half if you don't want to hear any more Last of Us fucking arguing because he's not like he's not a negative person he's just like this dissecting why he thinks that the narrative fell flat for a lot of people and it makes a lot of sense because of the 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 choices that they made like clearly Mm -hmm. that's going to rub people the wrong way and we're seeing that with the suicide squad game too like there it's it's really cool if even if you really like stories to hear the side of people who don't like it like who can articulate why they don't like it and show you what's going on so that you can hear and understand and like try and like figure out uh different ways to tell stories that can be interesting but also provocative you know what i mean you know you raise a good point with that actually because if we look at western comics such as batman there are so many different authors that write different Batman comics and much of them are considered canon. Most of them are actually, even though they can like Batman will have five different books that come out (laughs) one month by different authors all at the same time in a continuous series. And it's just insane because it feels almost like it could be fan fiction at that point, even when it is actively being published. I, I, I don't know. Like I believe the fan fiction can be, non cringy i think the, yeah. there's definitely cringy fan fiction but i think <laughs> that it is a valuable skill to develop as well i don't think any of us are are you oh against my god that. have you guys seen the youtube I, i'm doing it again where i'm just pulling up <laughs> more youtube videos but they uh the internet no internet historian read fan fiction for harry potter i think the video series is called my immortal and it is so funny it's so funny <laughs> <laughs> guys you guys <laughs> <laughs> I'll link it in the description. 
There's a lot of kissing going on. And it's just only men reading it to each other. It's so funny. <laughs> and they have like little little animations going on too on the screen. It's, it's good. All right. Uh, that's enough of that one. Nave wanted me to pick one for him that would shock him or something. I don't remember what your exact request was. But I found this one. I thought it would be enough. We all said asshole for this, right? Yeah, I think it was, it was round table asshole, right? No one, no one to defend this guy? Oh, Agreed. yeah. Agreed. I'm on his... <laughs> no, he's an asshole. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> so throwaway check for the username throwaway3456. Uh, <laughs> Going to go on a limb. Say this is a throwaway. A lot of comments, though. So, Philip, you, have you already read this? I've already... Yeah, I mean, I've, I've found okay, this so one. You know, yeah, go through... Go, yeah, Philip found this for me. Because I was doing something I didn't want to look. And the title is, Am I the Asshole for Not Letting My Daughter, 16, Watch Anime Anymore? <sighs> Dude, so, something about these titles, I just immediately <laughs> am on their side. Like, maybe that's for the best. So well written. All right. Hi, Reddit. A few days ago, I had to put my foot down and stop my daughter from watching anime. This needs some context, as I don't want people to think I have an issue with the medium or Japanese culture. Is this why you picked it for me? Japanese culture, right? No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just funny. So my daughter, Marianne, Marianne, cool name, uh, has been pretty obsessed with anime since she was 12. At first, I didn't see this as a big issue. I was scared about the social ramifications because my <laughs> older son, Silvio, dude, this guy is on it with naming his kids. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Silvio, 19, used to tell us about kids in school that people made fun of called weebs oh Quote pause <laughs> pause okay i got a, i got a bit so me and jana have just started watching attack on titan for you know for the first time uh, ever we're on episode like 14 or something like that no spoilers and my oldest daughter comes in she's 16 she's like oh what are you guys watching and i'm like oh we're watching attack on titan it's pretty cool it's about these big naked dudes walking around <laughs> <laughs> and she's like oh man those weird anime kids in my school always talk about that show. And I'm like, oh, so you want to watch an episode? Then you be friends with them. It's like, I would never be friends with those weirdos. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. You think she, do you, do you, like, you know, in video games, you talk to someone and then you see did not this person did not like that. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. The, Sims, the double minus symbol above their head whenever they talk about something. Yeah. <laughs> But I, then I was like, oh, oh critical. I'm like, man, I would have not been friends with my critical. daughter in high school. <laughs> it's got to be rough. I think feel like a lot of parents go through that, though. You know what I mean? Something like that. All right, you can resume. Ah, dude, I have no idea where I was. I'll be honest. Weaves. Uh, <laughs> control F weaves. All right. Uh, I was scared. I was scared Marianne would become one of those people, but I held my tongue because my wife was of the opinion that children will do what children do. My first problem with her and with my first problem with her animes <laughs> plural <laughs> started when during our dinners she would start by what she what started when during our dinners she would start by what she called thanking for the food in Japanese. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry, some of these sentences just give me strokes sometimes. All right, Silvio <laughs> said he saw her do it out in school once which scared me. Silvio said she's Silvio said he saw her do it out do what? Uh the was it it's a Dakimas? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's I don't know, this fucking shit. Alright, so this was weird, but wasn't the end of the world. But not long after not long after she started wanting to get into hold on, I'm gonna full screen this. This guy's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's like one chunky paragraph. Yeah. All right, this was weird, but wasn't the end of the world. But not long after she, after she start, want, started wanting to get into what she says is cosplaying, where a person's dresses as characters from an anime, I guess, period, she showed me prices for whatever it is she needed to buy, and it was absurdly high. She eventually got her own job with her brother at a local country club, so she, so she got to buy her own stuff, which was fine until she finally finished her costume last week what i mean is that the costume was finished and she was happy and i was trying to bond with her so i asked her questions about who she's meant to be <sighs> this is a mistake because she described to me that her character was from a show with so much goddamn incest that like it was no big deal I was mortified. I knew she watched some weird stuff, but incest was taking it way too far. I mean, she has a brother like WTF. 
I told her that from now on, she's forbidden from watching those shows, and she flipped out, calling me an asshole. My wife was mostly weirded out, but compared it to how much porn nowadays relies so much on incest, while my son just said he knew she watched things like that and found it creepy. It's been a few days since she's still really upset, so Reddit, am I the asshole? Update, so Marianne is still banned from watching these shows. The more I looked into what I was told, the less I wanted to let her return to them. The medium feels so perverted, and as such, I can't allow her to watch these things. Also, for those dr- living in Dallas like me and my family, please stay safe during these protests, and please help support the family of victims of police brutality. Two exclamation points. That this is from... Yeah, call back to four years ago. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I have a headache from reading the fuck you, Philip, for giving me that one. Dude, this, this guy one. wrote like three sentences <laughs> per sentence, and I just had to like put insert commas and in fucking parentheses wherever I could mentally. Holy shit, that was awful. All right, so this raised a lot of problems. Uh, Dad is upset because daughter is turning herself into a, a weird weeb watching incest TV shows. And he's, As yeah, one does. Yeah, I know. But if you look at like the top comments, they highlight some 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 big ones that apparently also feature incest, such as Game of Thrones. Yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, as like the top one. Uh, Harry yeah, Potter. Also, also, they they say something about like how porn nowadays relies so much on incest. Like, spoiler alert: they're not brother and sister in those videos. They just say they are. Okay, it's okay. It's fine. Mm. let's see i don't know if i agree with that too much it's, i do it's love so the, weird. Uh, the harry potter thread that starts up in this real deep yeah where yeah, oh like, yeah yeah, yeah the, like, basically like, oh i see voldemort yeah. as i'm scrolling i'm like oh i know that word yeah there's a big harry potter debate going on uh, which which part's incest or not oh wait hold on wait uh, or how about all the cartoons we watched in our lifetimes powerpuff girls had an episode where the girls create a new sister only for her to die gargoyles <laughs> had an episode where the uh, where a chapter is shot in cold blood accidentally and fucking spongebob of all things has an episode can con- consisting of plankton being tortured isolate oh this they're just going but what about all this, this other yeah stuff? exactly yeah I don't, know. Uh, I don't know. These comments are wild. Holy shit. Yeah. How did this thread not get locked, but the other one did? What was going on <laughs> in that other thread? Uh, and they okay. must have been, like, burning them. I do gotta... Uh, it's like, I gotta say, like, there are problems with anime, though. Like, have you guys seen Sword Art Online? E- no, but I've played a video game of it. I, and it, I, I was very surprised by some things that happened in that game. There's a part where it turns out like his si- the main character's like sister starts hitting on him like halfway through the second season, and she becomes like a love interest. But she's it's like it's not great, not great. Wait, Luke and Leia kiss? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but they didn't know. Everyone loves just... Arrested Development. Michael oh. Sarah's <laughs> in love with his cousin <laughs> in that show. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it seems yeah. like an interesting line, but I think that so he's bringing up the incest over and over again. I don't think it's as much that I think that's the shocking thing that he got re- that was revealed to him. But I think it's also the the sexual nature just in general. And I think that anime has a lot of fan service. And I I know because I'm fucking entrenched in it right now. And a lot of the shows that I watch are kind of shows that just avoid that. And I don't know if that's. I don't know if I consciously chose that because I watch a ton of Spy Family. I watch a, I watch uh, uh, Bochi the Rock. I watch what else do I watch? I don't. I can't remember. Oh, the Fry Run show doesn't really have fan service in it either. And I don't know if I consciously am aware that I'm picking animes that just don't have that or what. But it is there. I know yeah, I actively they're... avoid like fan service animes because you know I have kids and everything, and I'm also not. A fourteen-year-old boy with full of hormones right now. Well, hold on, because I I like me some boobies too. But well, yeah, I, I mean, what is like, it? Uh, uh, Space Dandy literally has a a, a place called Boobies. <laughs> That's like my favorite part is when they go there. Dave, you got something? It's just like this is a, a classic thing of like a parent thinking that something that they don't really understand is stupid, and then saying like you're not allowed to do it. So, I mean, like they talk about like how, 
uh, they the the kid says itadakimas at 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 you know mealtime or whatever, and they think that's weird, and people are gonna be mean to them or whatever. But like, they're not wrong. <laughs> whomst among us has not done some embar- em embar- some embarrassing shit? Oh yeah. uh, When we were oh, a teenager, my God. right? Uh, I got one. Uh, one time when I was in like second grade, uh, we were doing track and field in PE, and I did a Naruto run. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, who... No shit, no shit. I got halfway through, and the PE teacher... This is the same PE teacher that asked me where I learned the word fatigue from, by the way. It was the same school. Um, so, my, the PE... I was halfway down the little strip, and he said, What are you doing? Get back over here! And as I was walking, he said, Why are you running around like Batman? Run like a normal person. And I'll never forget that. Batman oh, runs okay. like Naruto? Amazing. Well, no, he has his, like, arms to his side in his cape as he runs, Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah, it's a it's it's not a normal way to no. run for sure. <laughs> not at all. Which is I mean, the like, funniest wait. thing was I never saw a single episode of Naruto. I just saw another oh. kid doing it, and I was like, oh. "That's kind of cool." I was gonna say maybe <laughs> oh, yeah. you didn't see you didn't ever watch Naruto, but it turns out that the Naruto run is the natural state of humans running, oh, and we all God. yearn to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from our it's society that's brain. keeping us right. from our roots. Right, so, Naruto <laughs> fans rise up. I'm just Run how you like want a, to. A world history book to the caveman section, and they're all Naruto right. running. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <running them. laughs> uh, yeah. It's uh, aerodynamic as fuck, bro. It makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. This, like, it's okay to be concerned about, like, subject material. Like, let's just ignore that this is anime and just assume that your kid is watching anything that has stuff that you think is like you know inappropriate or like too quote mature or whatever like the answer as a parent i feel like is not to say you can never it's like if 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 like my parents came in and saw me watching the south park movie during the scene when big gay al is is singing and dancing (laughs) naked full frontal it's like if they walked in which did happen that did happen but they walked in and saw that and they were like okay you can never watch movies again that's what's happening here, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, so, like, would, that's not the way to do it. I don't know if it would be movies. I think it would be like South Park, right? Or, no, they're, they're saying say cartoons. Like, or, but... or cartoons. You can yeah. never watch cartoons, cartoons again. Yeah. yeah. You can mm. never watch anything on Comedy Central because of something we saw on South Park, which is like not the way. But it is the easier way. It is, huh? easy. yeah. it is the easy yeah, way. Yeah. Blanket yeah. remove. Yeah. Yeah. All you're going to do is turn this into like some forbidden activity that they do behind your back and then they like get Makes real pissed right. off and hate you forever because you tried to control their life. Oh, like Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> well, okay. Well, my dad stopped. Okay. My dad, I just realized that that was an only me situation. <laughs> my dad forbade me from watching Powerpuff Girls when I was a little kid because of him and he just didn't understand him. So he's like, you just. You can't Referring to this. him, the uh, devil yes. cross-dresser yeah. thing. Yeah. The devil cr- <laughs> and to be fair, him is scary. I, I didn't know. It I didn't understand freaky. him it is either. Yeah. But then I watched Power of Girls at my friend's houses, so it didn't really stop me from doing anything. <laughs> I think my parents stopped me from watching Adult Swim after watching home movies. I don't know if you guys ever watched <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> that one? Even, it's not even that bad. Really? Yeah, no, that's not that bad. No, it's like... I don't know. I feel like Bob's Burgers is probably rougher than no movies by today's standards. Yeah. But I'm trying to think back to just like dumb stuff we watched growing up, like Shin Chan, the amount of little boy penis that comes on the screen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I, I, watched, I watched Ace Ventura Pet Detective 300 times when I was like 10 years <laughs> old. So and like that wasn't there. Like he gets a blowjob in like the first 10 minutes of that movie. <laughs> God, what? I don't remember that. Oh, I don't remember yeah, that either. It's, I mean, they don't show they don't show it or right. anything, but like you know it's that's implied. what's happening. She yeah. asks right before if she can take his pants off for him. So yeah. So like I don't know, little kids watch stuff. I well, I don't think I became some kind of weird, you know, sex pest or something like that. That's exactly what a sex pest would <laughs> yeah. say. Exactly. On the internet. Yeah. Call but, him out. He's he's yeah, one of them so sickos. Like, yeah, the sickos. Sick snaps. Yeah. I yeah have to finish this podcast soon because i have to take my clothes off and go do weird dances on the streets <laughs> yeah. of Honolulu. go hang off of a go hang off of a light pole 
Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, the, 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 like, just, you just pretend again, pretend you watched game of Thrones and saw Jamie and, uh, and Cersei, uh, fucking in episode one, episode one, they didn't hide it. It's in episode one. Yep. Uh, so you saw that and they were like, okay, you're never watching any prestige drama ever again because <laughs> of that happened. That's what this is. That's what they're doing here. And it's, only easier to do it because it's Japanese and has a bunch of cultural things that they don't understand. I think the age is pretty relevant though. Like she's like 16. That's how old my daughter is. Mm -hmm. Like at this point, I let my daughter watch pretty much whatever she wants as long as she like asks first. Yeah. Type deal. You know, like, Hey, can I watch Bojack Horseman? I'm like, I don't think you're going to like it, but yeah, you can. (laughs) Like, I don't think you're going to get it because I don't know if I get it. But you can. I get it it a lot. I can't, dude. I can't watch that show. It just makes it tears me up inside. I'm like, I can't fucking Uh, keep doing this to myself. This is is hardcore. This is like a therapy session for me. It's terrible. (laughs) It's weird because, like, I feel like when I was 16, I was watching what, like, Futurama. Or I was watching Death Note. But that's the thing, dude. I was watching Futurama and I hated it because I didn't understand anything. Though I didn't understand why Futurama was funny. But now I watch it as an adult. I'm like, this is the funniest fucking episode. Dude, it is so funny. There is an there's a part I just randomly was watching an episode and it's an early one and there's a button and they're like, just press that button for this thing to happen. I don't remember. And Fry misses the button. Like he, he just it's right next to it, and then he hits the button, and it made me laugh so fucking hard because it's so stupid. You know what I mean? But yeah. like me as a kid would have never found that funny. I wouldn't have even understood the joke. Right. right. Or I'm thinking about like what what would be bad? Like always sunny in Philadelphia, maybe? Oh no. I'm I not letting a fucking sixteen year old daughter watch Always Sunny, bro. The first episode, <laughs> it... aren't they dropping in bombs the whole episode? <laughs> it's I one mean, of the one of the first one episodes. Of those. Yeah. God. Oh man. There's just so I much think... worse things than anime out there, I feel. I do, I do understand this, the perspective of he doesn't understand it, so he's banning her from it, and that's kind of like a blanket thing. But I'm going to be honest, I think that it's his daughter, and if he doesn't want her to watch anime, then uh, it, it's specifically bu- it's specifically because of the sexual stuff too. And it's like I, it's hard to argue that there's no sexual stuff in anime. You can give you you can give a million examples of anime that doesn't have that shit in it, mm-hmm. but. Like, but she's if gonna you don't, watch if what she he doesn't, watch. Yeah. That's, this is the thing is that if he doesn't understand anime, he can walk in and she could be watching anything and he has no idea if it's Full Metal right. Alchemist or if it's, uh, I can't think of a fan, Space Dandy. You know what I mean? If he walks in and there's just no normal shit going on, he's not going to know that she's not watching a sexual one. And I mean, 16 is the point in time at which you're going to start wanting to watch shit like that. But um, unless you, uh, unless he's okay with, or, or she's okay with him watching something with her. Like they make it into a thing. With that you. is a, this is the That's thing. That's a good if, fix. Dude, it's like, if you, if I can sit and watch it with you and you don't die of cringe, then yeah. you can watch the anime. Yeah. That's a pretty good barometer of the, like, let's watch a few episodes together and see if uh, you don't want to <laughs> jump out of the window. Cause I don't want, I, when I was 16, I did not want to watch like Inuyasha with my dad because of all of the love <laughs> interest shit. It'd be so funny. It's hard. Dude, your like, dad is so good too. Like it'd be perfect for that. Dude, my dad, you guys don't know my dad, but he is, oh, he's not the person you want to do shit like that with. Well, it's like with my middle child, she's 11, and the way I basically, you know, parent her on what she gets to watch or whatever, is like, I will watch an episode with her uh, before, like, you know, a couple just to see how it is or whatever. And I found some good shows. And I've also found a lot of shitty ass disney channel shows <laughs> that i can like i can't sit through them like it's like she's watching this fine meanwhile i'm inwardly cringing to death as i'm watching yeah. what is probably like the spiritual successor of the sweet laugh life of uh zach and zach cody, and cody. <laughs> now they're at like a summer camp or something like that oh it, are you talking about bunked it bunked yeah oh, <laughs> oh my shit. god i like it. my kids watch that all the time i'm like why are you watching? i can't so handle stupid. it stupid that but, shit but is bunk. Bunked <laughs> has like a spinoff too, where yeah. uh, well, I forgot what it was called. Where it's like it's the name of the babysitter or something like Jesse. that. Jesse, no, that Jesse, Jesse that's is the one that's that that bunk spins off of. Oh, is that it? Okay, I didn't yeah. know the lore, but yeah. I, I know I was gonna get the bunk extended know, I know. universe <laughs> I know. in this episode. Like I sit down with my daughter, I'm like, hey, let's let's watch a show together. What do you want to watch? I'll we yeah. all watch with you. And she puts on Jesse, and I'm like. Oh man, yeah, this is a long twenty-two minutes. They're still yeah. going. <laughs> so, bad. so 
so what's whenever I went on Christmas, I went and visited my mom and my little sister, and like there's a bunch of kids running around, and I brought Dontre there because he didn't have power at his house, so he was. Just, I was just like, hey, come on, fucking to my hometown with me, and uh, <laughs> we were watching whatever the fuck these kids watch on YouTube, which is the worst fucking garbage I've ever <laughs> seen in my kids. life. God, I no. fucking hate it. No, it's not even YouTube kids. It's just some random YouTube channel, and they're just doing horrible <laughs> shit, and like. Dontre has enough. He's like, I can't stand this anymore. And he goes and he pulls up a, a fucking music video for something I don't know. And there is just chicks twerking and shit on screen. And the the older of the kids, the 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 boy, is just like mesmer. He has never seen anything like this before. And he's just like, oh, no. what is this? And I'm just like, like watching this happen. Like, this. like Dontre, can you change that? Like, I don't know if he should be watching this. He's nine years old. You're you're scarring the boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, which is like I don't know if that the twerking is worse than the original shit that he was watching. I don't know what's doing more damage because it was some dude. fucking smooth brain ass shit that he was watching before. <laughs> God, I hated it. I'm trying to remember what channel it was. I was watching a channel, but their whole purpose was basically just to scrape YouTube kids for some of the most stupid shit that they put on there, like the lamppost or siren head. And stuff like that. Have you seen? Oh, that? like skimmity toilet and yeah. shit. Yeah, just like real bad stuff. Like no, it's like Spider Man marries Fiona from Shrek. And oh, stuff. What? <laughs> there's God. some there's some holes that you can go through in YouTube. No pun intended. Yeah, there's some. But that's there's like some rough the, stuff. It's like fucking what's her name from Frozen giving birth to Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm like, <laughs> what? And like Mario is there, and I'm like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? And I can just picture the kids watch this on YouTube and then in the playground the next day, they're like, you won't believe it. Elsa gave birth to Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and he's like, no way. All right. Uh, one fan last fiction, round, bro. Fan fiction. That's what it is. One last round table. Uh, assholes here. I, the dad. The dad's an asshole just for like taking the quick, like, I don't want to the deal with this out. at all. Yeah. I don't want to talk about yeah. it. No yeah. more. Asshole. Yeah, I agree. So uh, I think there should I be a conversation. There should be a conversation. It seems like there was a conversation, or maybe not like, a conversation, but like, he was doing research. He was doing the deep recon, and he was deep like, recon? This is- you he went on deep Google recon? And he went on Google and typed in horniest anime. Yeah, that exactly. was the research. <laughs> Ugh, God, yeah, I could. I, he said he looked more into the show and more or less what he learned. He he feels even worse. So I think the specific show should what be show banned. Was it? I wish. I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't bring it up. But this is the thing. This is the problem that I'm saying is that when you go, man, what's that anime that has a lot of sexy stuff and also incest? And I'm like, that describes a billion of them. Like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> that does not narrow it down even a little bit. And that's a little bit of the problem. Is that maybe. There is a problem with anime and sexuality, but it's also, like, the culture. So, I mean, I don't know. I I uh, do think he is a little bit of an asshole for what you guys were saying, though. But I'm going soft asshole. Real quick, down in the... (laughs) (laughs) He went in and said that he would describe the anime, but he never actually does it. (laughs) Sadly. He said, I don't know the name. If it can help, I can give you... Yeah. I'm from Mexico. Okay, so that explains why the fucking it's in broken English. Okay, yeah, and he says he only knows about Dragon Ball Z. He only Master knows, Roshi. No clue. Did he perv there. Yeah, he's he's real pervy, especially in Dragon Ball the original. <laughs> All right, yeah. So he never gives away the show, sadly. Yeah, he doesn't. He said his wife knows more about anime, so I don't know if what he's learning is about from her or something. It doesn't. I just like picture this, you know, like the stereotypical Mexican guy with the button up shirt and the boots, you know, and he's like, my daughter, <laughs> like the trying- Texan, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the uh, classic okay. Texan guy. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, with that, I want to thank our guests for coming out. Chris, thank you for coming out. How about you give one little blast blur for your show for our listeners to go check you out? Sure. Uh, thanks again for having me on the show. This is fun. And, uh, you know, get. Got to hang with Dave again, so that was cool. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I'm I'm one half of the One Hour One Decision podcast where we play a random game on Xbox Game Pass and play for an hour and figure out if it's worth it, if it's worth it to play past that hour. So we've been uh, nice, our, nice. Our most recent thing was um, well, our next episode is going to be talking about Pal World. So Ooh. relevant, spicy, the, the current zeitgeist. Yeah. 
I, I genuinely do want to hear what Tom has to say about that. Yeah. The first yeah. hour is interesting. Yeah, it is. It really it is. Goes, it gets deep. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, the first hour, I don't think, is that telling of the overall greater experience, but I'll have to listen and see what you guys say. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the experience a lot of the time in one hour, which probably makes why why one hour, one decision is so compelling, I think, is because <laughs> if you go explicitly with that lens, it really changes the way that you play a game. Yeah, for sure. And Dave, I want to thank you for coming out. How about you uh, yeah. spill the beans on your show? Of course. Yeah. So I'm the host of Tales from the Backlog, which is a weekly backlog game review podcast. Uh, each week we do a backlog game or a new game and we do the episode like six months late. So uh, yeah, every episode <laughs> we go as deep as we can with no spoilers for a long time. And then we warn you when the spoilers start and then afterwards full spoiler discussion uh, episodes are pretty long. Two to three hours is the uh, the usual. Nave has been on the show a couple times. Chris has been on the show before. And uh, we've got to get Philip on the show sometime for sure. Um, and then I also do another podcast that Nave has been on called A Top 3 Podcast, where we do top three lists. We do draft episodes and uh, other goofy stuff like that. So, yeah, those are the two. And I appreciate you guys having me back. We're glad to have you. And all those shows will be linked down below. And with that, Nave, what are we playing next week? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe World War Z. I have it installed. I also have Warzone installed if you want to try that out. Yeah, well, the problem is, so I downloaded World War Z, like 20 gigs. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But you're like, maybe Warzone, download that too. And I'm looking at the 180 gigs. gigs. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not downloading that unless I'm sure. Ah, hang on, I have it installed. So come on, you can sacrifice one of the Yakuza titles you have installed. Uninstall <laughs> Nier and then install, you know, Call of Duty, which I, I uninstalled Starfield to install Call of Duty. R.I.P. Starfield. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be on your PlayStation anyways. Yeah, just go play yeah, on PlayStation. Just play on PlayStation. <laughs> all right, and thanks for joining us this week, co-partners. Maybe next time we can all be sickos hanging from lampposts together. <laughs> or watch sexy anime incest. <laughs> See ya. Bye.